So it says. Mm. Mm -hmm. You look taller than me for once. Look at you. You're taller than me. It's not a coincidence. I've been working out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Anybody here? Who's here? I see one people waiting. Three people waiting. Say hello, hello. Oh, let me open the chat. My chat's not on. I got hello in there. Is this thing on? Okay. <laughs> My phone is slower than um, StreamYard. Oh, no, StreamYard. I mean, StreamYard is slower than my phone. Really? Yeah, because they're, they're popping up over there first. Hey, Hi, Sonia. Sonia. Hey, Hi, Belinda. I don't, see, I don't even see Chris on here. Oh, there she is. Hi, Chris. Hi, yo. <laughs> Hi, yo. I like that. Hi, Sue. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, you guys. Sue, Sue, that reminds me of Jerry Seinfeld for some reason. Hello, Jerry. <laughs> how does Howdy Ho remind you of that? No, no. Hello, uh, Sue. <laughs> Sue went, hello. Oh. Or Mrs. Doubtfire. Hi, Angie. Hello. Good evening. Her first time to the show. Woo. Glad to have you. I hope we can put on a show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and to set a reminder for the next. So if y'all don't know, that's my, I call him my husband over there. What? <laughs> that's what they make us call him. Uh, Katie's not going to be here with us tonight. She's got some other stuff going on, and then she I don't know, Belinda <laughs> has to rush home for her uh, for her uh, show and tell too. Hi, Judy. Judy's in the chat. Sonia, Chris, Belinda, Sue, Angie, Belinda, Judy. <laughs> and do y'all watch a um, vintage conversation? Martha. Martha. She she has a, her studio. I have a studio too, but mine has wood walls, wood two by fours, and no AC. It's hot out there, and um, but uh, <laughs> she's getting hers done a lot quicker, and it's almost done. And I'm gonna go over there and do a live sale with her coming soon. It's gonna be exciting. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. She has a husband that can frame out a room. And Tammy doesn't. I don't. We'll get there. <laughs> Someday, one day. Uh, hi, Daniel. I see Daniel just popped Daniel. in. Daniel. I like your your uh, your throwdown, your offer up, your whatever. I like that saying. Uh, what was it? Tacky. Tacky is as tacky does? No, it was for his offer up. What was it, Daniel? I wrote it down too. Um, hey, Angie, you don't have to register like everyone else, but just make sure to email Tammy at the email below, Vintage Uprising Texas at Gmail. So she has your information in case you buy something. Well, that's registering technically. Register, but <laughs> she doesn't have to register, register. No, you just have to send me your information if you buy something. So. And if you do send it, I'll just keep it on hand and you don't have to send it again if you don't buy nothing tonight. And maybe next week or so, tacky toss-up. That's what it was. The tacky toss-up. So y'all say hi to Angela. Show her what a wonderful community we are. How we love everybody. All mm -hmm. of our people. Angie, not Angie. Oh, Angie, yes. <laughs> so, I'm hot. Yeah, you are. I'm I'm looking, I'm looking this way, but you're, I'm looking away from you every time I, <laughs> Can't change that? I don't know how that works. He's actually on this side of me, but on the camera, he's on that side. Okay. I'll do it the different this time. Look there. Right, now, every time I look at you, it's going to be, <laughs> look, he's taller than me two for once. <laughs> Today I have high butt pressure. So Hi, Angela. Okay, now we, you changed it? No, I see Angela. 
There's an Angela in here, no. Marksberry. And then, and then we have an Angie. Oh yeah, I changed you. Yeah. Yeah, that wave was dumb. <laughs> Anything I can do to make you look dumb yeah. is okay. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard. Look, y'all. Tam Tam juice. It is Tam Tam juice. It's not wine. It's too hot for wine. We were working in the yard a while ago, so. Yeah, Tammy picks of all days <laughs> to force labor camp in the yard when it's like 91 degrees here with all the humidity. 91 feels like 102. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Hey, TRW. TR oh, Martha's here. I was just talking about you, Martha. I was telling them how all good things. How jealous I am of your room and your husband that's doing your room. But I make him do I make him do a lot. If he don't know how to do it, we YouTube it. Hi, Carrie. Now, Carrie's in Austin, right? I think she's in Austin. She does the schedule. Yeah, uh, where have you been, Melin uh, Martha? It's like I said, she's been working on her studio. She's trying to get it ready for tomorrow for her live sale, which is at ten o'clock. Martha, Martha's having a live sale tomorrow at ten Central Time. See, I told Tammy you were in Texas, and she's like, "I don't think she's in Texas." I'm like, "I thought you were there? talking about somebody else." No, it wasn't. Not yeah. Casey. Uh, okay. I knew who I was talking about. Well, you didn't say who you were talking oh, about. Oh, we pick her like uh, not partners in this, but like husband and wife. <laughs> we're, uh, we're on the scale. We're at the nine scale. That's good. Ah. I thought we were having too many cool, cool days in the early part of summer, and I thought, oh, it's going to be real bad when it finally does get here. Mm, it won't be too bad if you don't like work in the yard like immediately before so. Be <laughs> oh, we need to work in the yard at night. Oh. Well, we have 19 people in here. So I hope everybody's giving me a thumbs up. Do we have 19 thumbs up? 20 thumbs up? I don't know what that does really. Everybody just says it, so I say it. <laughs> Something about an algorithm. Algorithm. Rhythm. I don't know. Yeah, Mark, that's yeah. much <laughs> I was pulling weeds. I was afraid of snakes. Oh, where were we? I think we were in, was it Abilene? No, we were in, uh, where was the guy that was minding the, uh, he was minding the antique store. And he's like, y'all are from Houston? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Man, we have mosquitoes, but y'all have those big mosquitoes that carry you off. Everyone thinks the mosquitoes <laughs> that carry us off. No, they're not pterodactyls. They're just mosquitoes. <laughs> Hi, Pamela13. I got you, Angela. I saw your information. I mean, Angie, I saw your information come through. Hey, Pamela. I just, I read the first of words and just add whatever on the end. Yeah, so like that's why like, I always oh, do that. Man, and then she'll rename you. So now you're Angela now, Angie. Yeah, Daniel, I almost didn't tell him about it. I was, I was thinking about surprising him. But then I couldn't. And then he pissed me off. Oh, yeah. So I just <laughs> thought I I just thought I think they're cool. You know, I just decided to just go with blue because, you know, he's the habit. I don't Some of the multicolor people. looks good. It looks great. We can see it all together. I just kind of like the same aesthetic. Don't you find it funny? He's the one collecting the fairy lamp. I I'm the one willing to shell out the bucks for the fairy lamp. It's not. <laughs> wanting to collect it's like pulling the trigger on actually buying something you know i don't mind spending the money well again i katie's not going to be here this evening 
she had some other stuff to do and then to be back in time for her show and tell this evening. So maybe she'll pop in the chat later before her show and tell. I mean, because I may need her to identify some glass for me. <laughs> we're going to miss Katie. So we're going to see how good of a job Dave can do. Right. Well, and identifying anything, you know, have fun with that. But, you know, see if it's cool. You're looking the wrong way, by the way. Find what? Looking the wrong way. Because now I'm looking this way. Because you reversed it. So. <laughs> I'm looking the right way. Okay. <laughs> I see you. Hi, Christina. So, so y'all know real quick, I... This is my regular Wednesday sale. I always have it at this time. Same spot, same look. Well, maybe a different spot in the house, depending on how hot it is in here. And then um, I'm having a pop-up sale tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, I should have looked. Six six o'clock Central, seven Eastern, and with um, Junk to Be Love and Simon Says our red, white, and blue sale. If y'all seen that, you would have seen me um, post it already on my uh, Instagram. Hi, Robert Lee. And then Friday with Christina, Christina Taylor. We're going to have a, a little sale uh, Friday night at 10 o'clock Central, right? 10 o'clock. I'm trying to remember all these times. 10 o'clock Central with Christina Taylor, Vintage After Dark. We might have pop-up guest or or yeah a pop-up guest whether it be a seller or just a guest we'll see martha i don't know how good of a dino i could be because i can't type <laughs> or participate in this while holding a cigarette and a cocktail in one hand so we'll see we said we'll see how it goes Ch tammy's definitely jerry lewis <laughs> what what are you talking about you gotta read the chat you gotta stay sharp you're supposed to be reading the chat for me. Oh, she said I, I'll be a great dean to your chair. Oh, Jerry Lewis. see, I missed that. Two bottles of wine. Me and uh, Christina's going to go with two bottles of wine. I'll probably have two bottles of wine. Tonight I'm having my Tam Tam juice. It's Tam Tam juice because that's what my name is, what my kids call me. And I made it up. My daughter's a bartender, and so is my nephew. And when I told her what I put in it, She's like, that's not a drink. You just made it up. So I asked my nephew, and he goes, that's not a drink. You just made it up. It's Tam Tam Juice. He named it for me. So there's Missy. That's who we're having a sale with tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed to the people that I was just talking about, I was talking about Martha, Vintage Conversation. Subscribe to her. Uh, Junk to be Love, who I'm having a sale with tomorrow. Subscribe to her, but all these sales so far are on my channel this week. Um, and uh, Christina Taylor, subscribe to her channel. And next weekend, next Thursday, I'm having a sale with Martha, Vintage Conversation, and Daniel, tacky as me. We're gonna have a two Texans. What is it? See, I shouldn't be talking, people, because I can't remember anything. Um, two, two Texans on the tacky side are a little tacky. With a little tacky on the side? Yeah, with a little tacky on the side or, or something like that. I'll remember, and I will put it in my Instagram, because I'll be advertising that here soon, too. So We're going to get there, folks. And a side of tacky. Two Texans and a side of tacky. That's what it is. <laughs> well, it's one of those. <laughs> okay. Let's start out. We'll start out with, ooh, how about this? Let me let me make Dal, uh, David small. Put him in the penalty S box. Yes, all. Like Dino, Dean Martin. Small. SM all. <laughs> Do y'all even want to see his face? Because I can make me big. I can make myself go away. <laughs> y'all can still hear him. Y'all don't need to see him. Unless you do, just let me know. I have to look at him all the time. 
<laughs> he making me choke. So I have this little deer planner. Oh, David, go get my ruler because I don't even know how tall he is. Oh, okay. Good thing I'm off camera. <laughs> He's this big, y'all. He's this big. Look, he fits between my middle finger and my thumb. He's a cutesy little thing. So it's about five inches tall, I'm guessing. He's a polka dotted little deer. Oh, and my, uh, and my, uh, my little planters, my little air plant. I'm not ready. My little air plant. He's four inches tall. I lied. It's like I'm a guy or something and can't, don't know my inches very well. Hi, Sylvia. Glad to have you. Put David back up. <laughs> they want to see you, Dave. Where's your air plant? Is, is it not right there on the table? Yeah. If not, it's on the, um, in the cabinet right there behind there. So, see, he has a little pocket. I may get an ear plant in a minute. I'll put him back on when he comes back. What are y'all laughing at? Did I miss something? He has a nice face. <laughs> oh, and I don't, huh? My face ain't nice, huh? What about me, y'all? What about me? Not feeling the love. Well, it's not my air plant. There. He is a planner. He's four inches tall and he's a polka dot. He's black and orange. He, he'd fit in a little deer uh, Halloween setting too as well. Would he not? He's a cutie. He's a cutie. He's, okay, he has some kind of marking on the bottom, but it is a smear marking, so I can't read it. I don't know if it's that way or that way because it's smeared. No, I can't read that. I was trying to read it. So, this, <laughs> my plant won't say him. Hey, Nanette. This little plant, planter, they want me to put you back on. I'll put you on in a sec. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay. Is $10, and it's number 35. It doesn't say that. You read that? You're good. Little deer planter. Ten dollars, number thirty-five. Yes, you notice my collection of Raggedy Ann and Andy. That's that's just this much of it, y'all. This much. They want to they want to see your mug. My mug. Your mug. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't need all these plants right here. All right, next. Next we have how about um, a little enamel cherries brooch. This real is really cute. It's enamel. It's vintage. The three cherries. There's no name on it. See you, Daniel. Get have fun working. Bye, Daniel. He's leaving. He's packing. He's packing stuff up. He sold it. Oh, good job. It's time to ship. Hi, Nanette. Are you new here? Correct us if it's Nanette or Nanette. <laughs> so I had this uh, little brooch. It is um, three inches. Three inches tall. It's a pretty big size of cherries. Anybody love cherries? It's enamel wear. Enamel wear. It's an enamel brooch. <laughs> it is sixteen dollars and it's number thirty. Hey Jeannie. Hi Jeannie. Miss Chicago lady. Next we have up are these little miniature doggies. Little miniature doggies. I don't know that I can hold them all at one time.
You're the master at that. What are you talking about? His face isn't turned right. So we have uh, this one. I don't know what he's playing. Oh my goodness. I don't want to focus. That one's. Wow, if you could like, be still. Yeah. <laughs> he's playing a violin or something. He looks like he might be have a little pocket there for a little airplane or something. This one's playing like a trumpet, little doggy. This is like a, a schnauzer, just a little schnauzer. They're about a, an inch, a half an inch to two inches tall. This one's probably about an inch tall. He's just the um, viewer. And here I thought this was going to be a better location because they were being focused so much better. There we go. There's that one. Schnauzer, I think. And that cutie, he looks like he's playing some kind of instrument. Thanks, Nanette. And then that one. She said when we're alive, she's usually working, so she doesn't comment too much, but she enjoys the sales. Oh, you're usually here? I didn't know that. Well, good. Thank you. She's sneaking in some comments on the clock. <laughs> so Don't we, let Big Brother find out. <laughs> so we have all four of these. These four little figurines are going to be ten dollars, number seventeen. Ten dollars, number seventeen, for the all oh, the doggy, the dog pack. Is that what they're called? Dog pack, pack? of dogs. Pack of dogs. Because dogs like to pal around. I think the leader of them is the one smoking the hookah. <laughs> is that a hookah? I, I thought know. it was an instrument. It just looks like one. <laughs> hookah. Dog. Let's see, let's see. Was well, that number 17 for the lot of dogs? 17. Um, next, I love this little planner. It's so cute. I could not find it anywhere. There's no markings on it. There may, yeah, there may be some craisin in here. But she is super cute. It says Goatee Locks. Look at her. And it is a planter. Been that. Been that. Little planter of Goatee Locks with her long braided hair. And I like the little goat uh, flowers inlay. You see, she's kind of a 3D ish. And little cute planter clear on the back there is some crazing on it not that you'll probably see that there is no no markings on the bottom but i think she is precious super precious super cute she's very kitschy i think is it kitty catchy kitschy kitty and she's going to be 16 dollars Number seven for the Goatee Locks. Number seven. And Belinda Carroll is going to get number seven. Thank you, Belinda. Okay, another little uh, kitschy little cute thing, and it does have crazing. It's not cracks, it's crazing. I really like this. I thought this was adorable, and I could not find anything about it. Where I got it, they said it was from the 40s or 50s. I don't know. Hello, Nate. Hi, sweet Nate. This is... A little picture for um, a ceramic like picture frame. It's about seven and a half. I'm gonna hit my tea, my drink. I said tea. <laughs> it's not tea. It ain't tea. <laughs> four and a half. Six and a half by four and a half. Isn't that sweet? This would have been good for Valentine's, even though there's no red or pink in it. But I love this. And 
they said it was a 40s error and it has little two pockets here to hang it it's it's ceramic and it does have crazing if you can see that little bit but i just love this i thought it was so cute i've never seen one like it i couldn't find anything like it i tried i wanted to know more about it but you should kiss me like that david you should kiss me sometimes <laughs> she always turns away <laughs> it's so cute this will be $14 and it's number 11. Where are you booking a flight to, Christina? See, David's not reading the chat to me. I don't know what's uh, going on. Because Nate Nate is having world famous cheese scones for lunch. Oh. I mean, I have him here for a reason, not just for y'all to look at his face. Yes, I like that one. It's super we, cute. We, we have to keep this uh, live cell G rated. So. <laughs> I want to kiss from him. Mm -hmm. Let's say what y'all want to see next. How about a salt and pepper shaker? So, y'all all know George, right? He wrote the book on this. I personally love these colors. But I have other more green and orange um, salt and pepper shakers. This is, if I can put them straight in the camera, um, Treasure Craft. Tre Treasure Craft salt and pepper shakers. And y'all know George from Antique No Man. I said it right, David. <laughs> I usually say no man. <laughs> George is going to be ecstatic. She said, Antique Nomad. Um, Normally she says, The Antique Nomad. I'm like, No, it's Nomad. No man. Look, it's my eyeballs. It looks like my eyeballs. <laughs> Y'all don't screenshot that, okay? <laughs> but they're, I love these colors the orange and yellow in there, salt and pepper, treasure craft. And I say that because y'all know George wrote the book on treasure craft, right? So, these little cuties, and they're two inches tall. And they are going to be $12, number 18. I had the book as well, and he signed it. I got a signed copy from him when we went and visited him, met him in he Florida. He was so excited. He was like, two, what's her face? What's your name? I shouldn't put what's your face. He scratches it out. Yeah, you're funny. You're so funny. He's so funny. So who are you again? I hope George hears you. <laughs> so, okay, so Father's Day is coming up. I don't know when. Um, next weekend, is it? So, I think these would make great little gifts for Father's Day. It's a mug. It has a shaving uh, paraphernalia. What do you, what, how do you say that? A little Motif. Motif. All this shaving, uh, vintage shaving stuff. Now, I like this kind of stuff. Well, because actually, it's self-care in general, I guess. Cause there's a brush. There's a straight razor for that clean clothes shave. There's shaving cream. You remember that song? Shaving cream, be nice and clean. No, I don't remember. Shave that song. every day and you'll always look keen. Mm, I cannot read this. I think this enlarges. I'm here all week, folks. <laughs> so this might not be as old, but I think this would be cool to put treats, you know, dad's favorite treats or, you know, sweets, you know, something in there and put cellophane on it, you know, like um, Beth's. Um, a roll of 20s <laughs> well that ain't yeah that ain't happening with you but this would be good to make a little gifts um pack out of it the mug is eight dollars and it's number 33. <laughs> well, i hold my liquor game. well i'm just really blonde
Então, how about how about a party book? Party book. Now, I didn't even look at this book. I just picked it up because of the cover alone. My little stickers in the middle of the book here. Parties for Children by Betty Crocker. That's just the cover alone had me at hello. But it has really cool graphs in here. I don't want y'all to see my head, but I'm trying to see what I'm, if I got it in the frame. But the really cool graphs, it has um, just different games and I think uh, treats and stuff to do. Now, it's all intact, but this is loose right, right there, like something loose. But it's all, you know, intact. Did I write down the year of this? Uh, 1964 is the year of this book. And the graphics are very cool in it. Nowadays, we just look on Pinterest for ideas. But it's fun. I didn't really, uh, games and I don't know if there's a uh, food stuff in here, but, but it's for a party. I would assume there's food. I don't know. But if you want to know, I'll read it more for you. 1963 was it? 64. Oh, 64. 1964. It's going to be $12, number three. Hi, LJ. Put that in there where we can see the tag. All right, where to put my stuff when I'm done? Okay. Anybody like brass? And by the way, what am I at, David? Five, six, five, uh, 80, 588, 588. 588. Yep. I'm trying to, I'm almost close to 600. So I think at 700, I'm going to do another giveaway, which that's a long ways away. So, but tell your friends, to come join us, especially if they like vintage. Share my channel with them. If y'all like it. Your sister may even follow you tonight. My sister says she's supposed to be on. Christina, and she's she's in Canada, so if she shows up. She says she's watching, but she doesn't know how to get in the chat. So I told her that. Again, another one of those? Yeah. How does she not get in the chat? I don't get that. Is it different for Canada to get in the chat? I don't know. <laughs> Christina, you need to help my sister. So, here we have this brass owl. He is hmm, four inches tall. Substantial. And he's going to be ten dollars, number thirteen. That's a handsome brass owl. David he's likes a, brass. He's a paperweight. I like owls and I like brass. It's a paperweight this tall, y'all? It can be. I mean, all brass is heavy, but I mean, I'm not sure how much he weighs, but he got some weight to him. I don't think but, he's a bookend. He'd be a very small bookend. Yeah. Maybe for tiny owl books. Because he's only, he's only four in, what did I say? Four. Almost four. He's like three and three fourths. Show the back. I don't think, I don't think he's flat for like a No, he's not. See? He got some feather curves. Feather curves. So, I think he's a whatnot. Hey, Vaughn. So, he's $10, number 13. If you are interested to take him home, he can fly away to you with weights on his hips. What number was that again, though? 13. Number 13. $10, number 13. Okay.
LJ gets that. Well, thank you, LJ. Thank you, LJ. Um, what are y'all here to see? What do y'all want to see? They're here to see the party. <laughs> certainly not me. No, certainly not you. Hmm? Yeah. I don't know what the tag is for these thingies. I have... How about a gown? Now... David is going to hold this gown up. I just dropped Am it. Am I? Yeah, it's, it's way too too small, small for you. It's too small for me. <laughs> hold it up, Dave. Okay. So I can talk about it. Well, you talk and make me bigger. <laughs> it is... Uh, See me now. <laughs> well, that's not a good clear picture of the top either. No, it I says size that. 36. It's a Vanity Fair. Um, it's a mint green color. Now, let me do the front of it then. Okay. Go closer where they can see the lace. It ties right there. It has lace around the neck. Now, there is a dime size hoe where? on oh. the back at the bottom do you see it you found it yes so that being said where is it where's my paper it is going to be six dollars number 45 and it's a size 36. So I'm going to say that is. What is that? For That's guys, I'd be a very small man. <laughs> um, George Stephanopoulos. I'm trying to remember what 36 is. Let me see. Like a medium size. Size 36 is a medium. And it will be six dollars, number forty-five. You can make it again. So I'm doing them all my gowns that cheap because there might be a little flaw to them, huh? Very and good. that's very low. That's on the bottom low part of it. Let me see how low. Well, it might be at the hip, but it's in the back. It's on the back side and at the hip side. On the well, hip. I don't know if mint green is my color. I don't know. But you see the lace on it? I like dark green. Real pretty. So, that will be one. Christina's crushing it. She's doing her laundry, watching sales. <laughs> and... Hello, Helen. We have someone new enter the chat. That's new England new. thrifter. Hello. Yeah, that's Helen. That's Helen? Yeah. Look at you learning their names. Who who is? <laughs> okay. Next I have up is these um Hi Miss Pamela Blanchard. Hi, Miss Pam, baby. <laughs> I have these bird bookends. Hi, Denise. Super cute, super bright. Hi, Yvonne. We need our cheerleader in the chat. Oh, she's cheerleading. <laughs> um, they, they're um, baby blue, purple, white with black tip. They're ceramic. There is no um, hey, sugar brushes. No maker model on here. So, but they're super cute. Super cute. These are gorgeous. Um, they're about five inches tall with the wings. Cute little bookends. And look at the back side of them. And they're on the branch. 
I mean, I don't know what else to say about them. The clear on the inside. But I love the colors. The, the pink kind of turns to a dark purple. The baby blue. I feel like I can't see very Shut well in here. Very nice. Some pretty birds. I don't know. What is that? A cardinal? Some kind of cardinal bird with that little you know, pointy thing? And see the it's tail? It's supposed to be, but I don't see a lot of blue and purple cardinals. It's just yeah, I've never seen any purple on a cardinal or on, on a bird. Is there birds that are, have purple I'm not on them? Say no. Well, not over here in this area. So here's the pair. Could be a blue jay Anita. You're, not, you're right. And these will be twenty-four dollars, number five. Number five. And Helen's going to get those. Oh, here. Then I'll pass them to you. Thank you, Helen. You need that paper. Deal. Okay, next I have this scallop dish. It's pretty large. It's it's eight inches long and four and a half inches wide. Eight inches long, four wide. It has these cute little feet, claw foot on here. I think this is some kind of soap dish. Now, I've seen some similar to this, but they don't have feet. They're Lex, uh, Lex, Lexin, Lexus, Lexus, uh, Lexus, Lexus. I can't think of the word now. Linux? Linux. Linux. But I don't think this is heavier than Linux because I have a Linux one that has no feet. It's like this this much smaller. This is pink, yes. Pink with Very a gold pink. trim. So I couldn't find this particular one. And this is a thicker glass. And it has, I think it's like a soap dish or... You know, we make stuff what we want it to be. It could be a, come on, go in. My camera needs to go back clear. Yeah. Well, I was trying to get the quieter so you can get the color. But uh, it's a, it has a, it has scallop, you know, inlay in the inside, that go trim. There's a little bit of wear on the go trim along the edges, you see, like right here. But I don't know if it's a soap dish, a planter. Um, I don't know. And there's no makes or model. You see the groove. Very pretty dish. I love this dish. Head size comparison. Oh, my God. It's as tall as my head. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> LJ, it's it's pink. It's pink with a gold trim. It's a light. Yeah, it's, it's a light. It's a real white pink. Does it look white to y'all? I move too much. Yes. Tell me to be still if I'm moving too much. Yes, there is. Is there too many sales tonight? I don't know who else is on. The regulars I watch are usually end right when I'm starting. But it is a um a nice pink, soft pink. But it's a I don't know planner, soap dish, sponge holder, whatever you want it to be. Okay, Jim and Lisa are in. Jim and Lisa are in. Yeah, from Canada. Oh, they're in? Yeah. I'm like, who's Jim and Lisa? That's, that's... <laughs> hey, Maria. I don't know those people. I haven't, Lord knows, I haven't seen them in years. That's my sister and my brother in law. <laughs> $12, uh, number 14. I didn't see their names pop up. That's Jim Runciman. Say hi, y'all. Hi to Canada. Hi, Canada. So, oh, here I can put it over here. Okay. Um, let's see. How about another little cutesy thingy? Number four, Elaine Bagwell gets number four. 
Wait a minute. What's number four? That's not four. Oh, what number was that? For the the dish, this. It's a pink fourteen. Okay, Elaine, we got you. We got it, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. I didn't say hi to you. Next, I have this little cutie skunk. Let me see how much he weighs. I mean, what? How much he weighs? Oh my God. <laughs> Look, I just started drinking this. Only had this much. It is three and a half inches tall. I can't read that writing there. Um, what is it, Martha? You usually read my writing, the writing really well. I can't read that. So, but he's. What did I say? Four inches tall. He got a butterfly on his nose. It looks like. Or an X. I don't know. It's really strange. I couldn't figure that out. I assume it's a butterfly. But he didn't. He wasn't supposed to have any hair or anything. This is the way he's supposed to look. A little black and white skunk. I mean, this is what my hair was looking like before I went uh all blonde or all white i was a redhead and that would come up in like yeah, not even right. two weeks and his little blue eyes and he a cutie y'all think that's a butterfly i don't know what that is supposed it's to be on his nose it's a butterfly on his nose but he's cute and he's pretty big for a little figurine see head comparison because i know right here they can look super tall Super big. He's going to be $10. And Scott's I don't find very easy. And he's number 38. Super cute. Super cute. And he's not a shake or anything. He's a figurine. There's no hose in his head. Where's uh, Miss... Uh, I'm trying to think of her name. Um, Joanne. Joanne's not here. I haven't seen her yet. Okay. Oh, next up I have. The two magazines. Okay. Two vintage magazines. Look at this baby. The magic of live television. And then this one, Woman's Day. Very nice covers. On the back of this one is a fruit cake. Is that a recipe? Mm, no. And then on the back of that one. But I love this. I love that baby face, this journal. Okay, they're, um, and you see the size comparison. This is a standard magazine. This is one of those big ones the ladies home journal is from december of 1934. it was 10 cents back in the day y'all and then the woman's day is december 1940. and i wanted to show you this particular page katie's not here but she would appreciate this it has jello modes in it nice <laughs> but i know y'all all love be careful with that thing that's from 1934. be very careful <laughs> it's in good shape i'm just flipping the pages these always have stories great advertisement this is a story what does that say david the benevolent elevator the vanilla bit vanilla bit hey melinda we have you for 38. Ooh, look at these hair melinda hairs. thank you thank you belinda melinda oh melinda oh hi melinda so two magazines you get the woman's day the ladies home journal what is it ladies home journal yeah yeah two magazines to do what you wish if you're and a junker or both are in fantastic shape 
Yeah. Uh, Jeannie, we have Melinda has already got the skunk figure in. I mean, there's a little bit of lifting right there on that one. On the on the spine right there. But it's it's still all in contact and flippable pages. The pages aren't falling out. So it both of these for fourteen dollars, number twenty two. There she is. Hi, Joanne. Didn't see you. Hey, hey if you are here, it says we have 45 people in the chat. If you are here, say hello. I want to see if we have uh, any new people in the chat. I want to see who's here. There's plenty of new people. I know of two new Canadians. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been doing this a while. My sister's just now joining us. How rude. Not coming and supporting me. How rude. How rude is she? They support you in spirit. Well, are y'all? I'm surprised you're not chatting it up. These magazines are great, in great shape. So Sharon C. Sharon's watching on, watching and doing laundry. That's, <laughs> Multitasking. That's, that's two of you doing laundry tonight. <laughs> Next, I have up is this beaded purse. It is hey, Joanne. pretty heavy. Hi, Joanne. It is. It has some weight to it, and I guess because of the beads on it. It is very nice. Very nice, but I'm going to show you some of its flaws. I don't know if this, I think it's just that uh, clutch. It's a clutch. It has a little spot right there. May be able to come out because it is beads. It'll probably wipe right off. Inside the inside, street. it has a spot here on the inside. And it is missing. See this um, this pearl piece? It is missing that there. So with those two flaws, this missing and the spot in here, and these would go for more money. Like I said, it's kind of a heavy. It's a nice beaded. Was that a name in there? Does names? Do y'all know the names of purses? Miss Joanne might. What bags by Debbie? It says made in Japan. Silk silk lining on the inside, all beaded on the outside, and this piece is missing. Maybe y'all can put something there. It's just an inlay or something. Yeah, just some kind of inlay. So, with that being said, I'm gonna sell it for eight dollars, number forty. This thing is still fabulous. It's a good shape. Hi, Side Street Market. Uh, Christy, is it Christy? Hi, Sharon C. Hello. Christine. Christina. Christina. I had to think. Okay, next I have these two hazel atlas um apple dishes have a sticker residue i'm trying to get off i mean this would be cute to put nuts in put them on your side table they're green green apples there's two They're Hazel Atlas, and I think these would be cute putting on your end tables at the in your living room or something and putting nuts or candy in them, or you could put apple slices in this one, or dip M&Ms. in there. Yes, M&M. And it's our Skittles. Skittles is, a, Skittles is yummy. <laughs> so, we have um, both of these, which will... I'm doing as a set price, I mean, together, selling both of these together. Um, what, how, what are they? Six inches wide, the width of them. So great little open snack yeah. container. Melinda is moving furniture right now and listening on the phone. 
because she has a jump man coming tomorrow for one of those giant 70s, 70s console, console stereos. You're getting rid of your 70s console stereo? Take up space and pull. Where are you, Melinda? I'll come get it. <laughs> no. Not that I have space for it either. <laughs> for the two of these, it's going to be $12, number 36. That console we had growing up, would I turn it on to hear the small hum of everything warming up? <laughs> We jammed on that thing. It was right in the living room. Okay. Next up, I have an apron. What do I do with that? Yeah. And I have Elaine Bagwell getting the apple bowls. Thank you, Elaine. You're going to use them as candy dishes? <laughs> so. I have this um, apron. It ties on the side. It's a, you know, I don't know what this kind of is called where it flips over your head here and then it just ties on the side and it has the two pockets and it's a brown, oh, where are you? Brown flower. Is that coming in clear? Yeah. Yeah. Brown, green, and orange flowers there very cute it comes down to comes down to the middle of my thigh so an art apron or you know your kitchen apron but i do believe this was handmade which is makes it even better the little pockets a little tie on the side easy on easy off flipping over your head we're going to do this apron for six dollars. What size is it? Number 42. The size is, it doesn't matter, honestly, because it flips over on you like this. And it just ties. Where is the back? Now. I'm a guy gargantua size. <laughs> Come on. Um, so this is really going to pray. Where's the string? Where am I? I can't it's way up there. It's caught on you. There we go. So Live chat, folks. So this is probably, if you want to say, say I would say, better, perfect for a medium. See, Not that oh. I can't wear it still, but because it still covers my front and I'm protected for all that juice, grease, or paint. <laughs> we have LJ picking that up, number 42. Was it, Thank you, did LJ. You the, did you get the tag? Yes. Okay, here. <sighs> Making me hot moving. You're hot. You're hot. Hi, less than $10. That was less than $10. What is your name? I don't think I've ever known your name. Jennifer. <laughs> hi, Jennifer. New first time. Oh, hey. How do I bid? Uh, Tammy will describe the item, and then she will hold up a number uh, with the price, and then the item number, and first one in the chat to punch it the in. Number, gets the item. And email me your... Um, your YouTube name, your name, your uh, PayPal information and address if you uh, pick anything up. And then once you send it to me the um, one time, you don't have to do it er you know, every time you come back to my sales. So, but so Jennifer, where are you in Texas? She's in Texas? Cool. We love Texas people. <laughs> we love everyone. Don't love <laughs> I love all my friends. All my friends are in the chat. My sister probably laughing at me. She's like, Tammy's never this friendly. I'm just not friendly to her. Who is this woman? <laughs> okay. Who likes hobo? Not hobo. Boho. Boho. I always say that backwards. Boho. I think this is very boho. Look at the hooks. 
the little tassel. It's a burlap. Hi, Sarah. Lee. Hi, Sarah. Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee. <laughs> Coleman. Um, it's on a burlap, and it's um. Is this hat? Um, oh my God! Look, hatch, hook latch, hook latch, hook latch. Is this hook latch? Where it looks like that on the back side, and this on the other side. I think this is super cute. Super cute. Barbara's saying that the apron that LJ picked up was a cobbler, a uh, cobbler apron. Oh. Good to know. Cobbler apron. I don't know these names. I know it's an apron. <laughs> hey, Debbie. So I think this is very, I don't, I don't even know how long this is. I don't, how long is this? Barb Lee says she wishes she was from Texas. Okay. Uh, that is. I'm five, five from my shoulders to my ankles. It, it's the length of it. But look at that. Is this not cute? And it has a the tassels on the end as well with the bar. And it has the little hook already. So I think it's very Hi, Katie. boho. Katie's here? Yeah. Hi, Katie. I have something to show you. Can you tell me um, I had a trouble trying to find it and I meant to send it to you about some glass so oh let me find this here we go this is going to be 16 dollars let us know if david if david's hanging hanging i don't know i don't know about that <laughs> he's no katie yeah the only one you missed was a cherry brooch katie it's still lingering out there for someone to pick up oh it's still available yeah it's available so this is 16 dollars and it's number one. Oh, oh, this I'm is tired. lots of boho for 16 dollars <laughs> Lots of boho. You get you you instantly pick up your boho crib <laughs> if you pick this up. And Christina picks is um is getting this side street market. Okay, Christine, thank you. See, see uh uh Katie, it's an enamel cherry pan. Okay. Where am I? Let's do um let's do what we call a Texan throwdown. We're gonna start it at whatever. <laughs> at whatever. Um how about a pixie planner? Christine, you're gonna love this thing. I love it. I really do love it. If I had wall space, I'd have to get rid of some of my children to have wall space. She says she has the perfect wall. <laughs> So, like I have what is this? Um, I think this was, I can't remember this type of Christmas pixie. Um, I want to say he was, was it the 40s or earlier? What I read on him. But he's a little Christmas pixie. They're called Christmas pixies. I believe what I there's seen. two more brooches, Katie. There's yeah. two more on the way. They're very blingy. And... Where's Christy? Text her and ask her where she's at. She's still sore about the mermaids. No, she's not sore no more. She's fine. He's a little planner. He's adorable. Little Chris. Oh, we should put the start in here. We're going to start him off at um, Pixie at $24. Can you put that in, David? Katie would already had it done. She would have already asked me, what are you starting this at? Oh, he's this way now, isn't he? <laughs> so we have this pixie planner. It is, well, with the his head, it's five inches tall. Um, so we're at $24. We're it, it is a Texas throwdown. So for you new ones, it's, it's the top bidder wins it. It's basically an auction. But I call them a Texas throwdown. My son came up with that name. What does that say? Is it upside down? Yes, my Cameron told me that name. Made in Occupied Japan. 
So maybe that sets it back more than the 40s. Now, oh, and um, that was mid to late 40s. Okay, look at his collar really well. This is cute, certainly. Very cute. So he's busy either hiding behind the tree stump or he's holding out this tree stump or he's simply just scratching his back. <laughs> <laughs> now the, the collar has a little chip on it looks like a chip on this side, but I have yet to find one of these without this collar being chipped. Okay, we have LJ at 24. Thank you, LJ. And it is a Texas throwdown, so the highest bidder wins for you newbies. But um, if not, then LJ was going to get a very good price on him. But I think he's adorable here. Katie, take side. your time. We're, we're going to talk slower since you're 20 minutes away from the house. <laughs> We're gonna go really slow. So head head comparison. But I think he's really cute. Super cute. I was gonna say I could keep him for my pixie collection. I have little pixies that I was keeping. No, no. But he was on a yeah, see he he don't want me to keep anything. <laughs> but he can keep fairy lamps. I can keep blue fairy lamps. <laughs> so uh so we have K um, LJ at 24. Maybe the pixie will kiss you. <laughs> oh, David will kiss me. I just won't let him. <laughs> Same. Oh, Christina. And if anybody else isn't interested, then I'm going to count down from a 10 and LJ will get it. So, so far it's still LJ. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And when whoever, in the so with the lag. Okay, LJ, you got it at 24. David will put in so. There it goes. Stop. So, thank you, LJ. He's cute. You're going to like him. He's my precious. <laughs> um, here, I have anybody interested in these vintage head scarves? Oh, I could use one right now. My hair is supposed to be all inside of it, though. My mama used to wear these. Oh, now Lisa in the chat is going to get flashbacks of her mom <laughs> beating her with a cane because Tammy just threw that on. You're not supposed to tell people how mean my mom is. <laughs> so we have this um, head scarf. It ties underneath right here. It's gathered. Now, the ones she used to wear had um, it was open in the back and the ties just tied underneath and it was a little triangle in the back and it was flowy so your hair was free and this you can leave your hair out in the back or you can stuff it up in there so or these are real good for cancer patients as well but this is vintage it's a vintage fabric it's that um uh not double net polyester i think it is polyester um type of fabric really cute so this headscarf will be four dollars and it's number 32. Hey Julia. Hi Michelle Lee. Hi Michelle. Well at least we got a laugh out of Lisa. Is it Lisa or Jim? Who's here? Is it well, Lisa or Jim? It's Jim, but I'm assuming it's either both of them in there or Lisa. Hi, Perfect and Pearls. Uh, Julie. Julia? Julie? Yeah, I'm Julie. still trying to figure out everybody's names. I'm, it's just that I'm trying to remember. Hi, Diane. Oh, you've been to Six Flags of Texas? I got you, Six Christina, Flags over Texas. 
What was 23? The head scrub. Oh. <laughs> if I can get it. Do you have the. There it is. Thank you. Okay. Are y'all familiar with uh, longer burger baskets? Longer burger. Longer burger. Longer burger. A long burger. burger. Are longer. <laughs> the burgers are longer. It's nine and a half inches tall. Our burgers are longer at the longer burger. And um, about five inches wide. Nine inches tall, five inches wide at the top anyways. Diane, your mom made the head scarves when y'all went to Six Flags? You should post a picture of that of y'all. You have pictures? <laughs> on Instagram. Post that on your IG. This is uh, a, the collection, the collection club membership basket from 1996. Charter members. Y'all can probably read that better than I can. It's dark on my side back here. All this light glaring. You think I should be able to see better. But it's a cute little picnic basket to hang your flowers out of or put magazines in. Were they matching, Diane? The magazines would fit. Christy says, I am doing a wonderful job. <laughs> I think so, too. I'm going to ask Tammy for a raise. <laughs> or maybe just breakfast. Yeah, you're going to get breakfast. Be well, safe driving. Be very safe driving. He's going to get breakfast when he makes it. Yeah, I us. get breakfast when I make it. So, yeah, it could be even a ba uh, magazine holder. So, anyways... The longer burger basket collection. This is no longer, they're no longer being made. They're out of service. I think I move this stuff too much, don't I? I feel like I'm moving too much. Yeah, you move too much. Uh, it's uh, from 1996. It's going to be $18 and it's number 46. Okay, we're going to do another little um, throw down. Show the bottom of the basket real quick. Is that upside down? Yeah, she's showing it now. Longer burger basket. And it's nailed in. I didn't even mention that. I forgot to mention that. That you actually use nails. These are very well made baskets. And the color. The groove. Can you see the nails in that? I don't know, Sylvia, if she's had too much Tam Tam juice. I don't think that's possible to have too much Tam Tam juice. I'm just me. This is me. Look, I only had this much, y'all. My ice is going melting so 46 lj did you mean 46 yes 46 and then yes 46 for lj and type this in hold on give me a second so next we're going to we're going to do this as an offer up a throw down sorry. We're going to start this at $18. Now these are the hand stitch days of the week. Okay. We got it, you LJ. It is missing a day. And I think it's the day we rest. So let me show you these. I think these are adorable. And they, if I can find the next one, Monday, to, what is Monday? Monday, we hang our laundry, okay? These are puppies. And Tuesday, we iron the laundry. I, I, I don't iron. David does all the ironing. Wednesday, what are we doing Wednesday? Oh, we're sewing. I could do that. I, I like to sew. We have Diane Broderick for 18 and Jana Overstreet, 24. I don't know if I'm going to keep up with y'all. 
And Thursday we have buying groceries. Is that a cat or a dog? It's a dog, right? So Thursday we buy groceries. And Friday we dust. I need this dog at my house. We still have Janet at 24. And Saturday we bake. I, I don't know about that, Denise. I don't know if I'm a keeper or not. We have Diane at 26. So there's no Sunday, okay? Now let me show you how big they are. Now these, they're towels. Now these are pretty old and some of them might have a little spot right there with a the little hoe or something. That one does anyways. Um, I didn't really check them all over because I liked them. I just grabbed them. Christine, Christina Taylor had underwear with the days of the week. So that's why <laughs> I remember that. Sally and Harry met Sally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember that. Where are we at? So there might be some, a uh, little bit of. Or was that Nate? <laughs> Nate. Oh, maybe Nate. Oh, no. <laughs> Diane at 26. Days of the week under I'm sorry, days of the week underpants. That's hilarious to me. I love that movie. I get overall the, I mean look at this. This takes time. This is something I cannot do. Okay. If I have to do it by hand, I'm not doing it. We have Diane at twenty six. My Tam Tam, so, Tam juice. Tam juice is a combination of vodka. <laughs> and coconut. coconut rum and cranberry juice and it's good y'all it's and good and i would say a double shot of the vodka and a double shot of the i take i take the um the uh, vodka and it's the coconut two, rum it's basically four shots and, and i pour it at the same time where it's where it fills half the glass so that's two shots right and then the cranberry juice fills the rest. So is that a quickie? It's pretty good. Okay, so we have Diane at 26, and I don't see any more interest. It is sweet. So if we're at, if, uh, who was it? Um, Diane. And uh, who else was uh, Overstreet? Jenna? Jenna? Yeah. If you're out, let us know. And we'll start counting down starting from 10 and you got to get in before the stop. Um, stop so we're going are you out jenna we're going 10 9 it's not good for me to count backwards when i'm drinking eight seven oh this is hurting my arm uh six five four Three, two, one, and David will put in stop. stop. And who and got it? We have Diane Broderick at twenty-six. I'm sorry. I, see, I'm holding these, and I didn't get the. Oh, it is okay. I do have her up there, twenty-six. Okay, good. My arm's hard. Uh, where's my card? Where's my card? I got it. You got the card? Oh, okay. I'm looking for it. Y'all want to do another one? Anybody oh, interested it. in them? Uh, that's not the right one. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> I can only imagine what my sister's saying. She seems so nice on here. <laughs> She's so nice. My childhood would have been so much better had she been this nice growing up. <laughs> So How did this happen? It must be Dave's fault. These are going to be another throwdown. They're um, mercury glass candlesticks. Ooh. They're really cool. They're um, mercury uh, glass candlesticks. Just a tad over 11 and a half inches. 
they got the red already glowing i seen somebody had stuff um those little uh fairy lights that that's on a string they stuffed them up there i don't know how well they glue that glue they glue they glowed um through the silver but okay. um they had them they had them on there but they had little red knob i mean tips on the end so they of course you can't light these these are glass and I think sometimes they have the little uh, rubber ends, maybe. Oh, no, Jana. Where are you, David? Okay. So, we're going to start. Oh, I hit the wrong person. We're going to start these out at $25. They are an offer up. They're um, candlesticks, mercury glass. You hear the cling cling, cling, cling. for the pair. If anybody's interested, if not, I'll put them on Etsy. We'll throw them on the Etsy. On the Etsy. I have an you Etsy. You can find them on the Etsy. I do have a lot of stuff on my Etsy account. Actually, I need to put more stuff on that Etsy We're account. We're glad you made it safe and sound, Katie. Yay, Katie. <laughs> so, and the, uh, what did I say? They're 11 and a half, 11 and a half inches. But if nobody's interested in these, I will put them aside. And we can move on no takers okay we're gonna move aside keep this going keep this party going ah, put them right there all right how about a blingy brooch if I can find my oh, Louie missed you I bet he's excited <laughs> Okay, David here. That starts. This is. I'm gonna do this as an offer up because I didn't know what to start. This do it started at 25. Okay. This is a trying. I seen one of these online, but it had um, earrings to match it, and it was listed for ninety dollars for the three piece set. Well, this one we're gonna start at twenty. 25? Oh, 25. Um, it's rhinestone. Let's see how big that is. Can you see me? Let's see. And this from, is possibly bigger than the Star Trek logo. Let me just say that. <laughs> is hey, from, Chrissy. From corner to corner. Finally. Where you been? Walmart. Oh, oh, my God. She went for one thing at Walmart and probably spent four hours there. I yep. guarantee it. We have <laughs> Katie for 25. All right. Is, is, is have, Vinny uh, here? We have vintage <laughs> Christina Vinny Taylor for 2501. <laughs> Denise at 28. <laughs> but it it is stunning. It's really stunning. Whoop, we're Katie at 30. Focus card. Focus. Must must focus. Show I'm the back, please, when you get a chance. There was no makes, no maker model on this. Why is it showing better this way and not the other way? Oh, all there we the go. Bling. Three rows. Denise at 32. I should have you clicking on that part. I'm clicking on their their names, whoever's in the lead. So, look, the there we go. You can see some of them are teardrop, and some are round. These are tear. Ah, I can't do this backwards. And Katie's at thirty-five. But this is it's it's stunning. It's really cool. Like I said, it's. Focus. It's really big. Uh, you're going to see this one coming a mile away. Hey, I'm surprised Chrissy's not asking me. Does it glow? If this was an episode nah. on Land of the Lost and the Sleezax, do y'all remember the Sleezax? No? Oh. Am I losing everybody? Katie's at 40. They would be all over this thing. But 
I, 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 don't, I don't know what he's talking about, y'all. I hope y'all do. <laughs> Christina, the Illuminati. The Illuminati. <laughs> no. Okay. If y'all understand him, you're yeah, way above my league. <laughs> Christina's dropping the Illuminati on. <laughs> That's funny. Denise at 42. And Katie at 44. It is stunning. It's so, it, I mean, the size of it. So apparently there might be earrings out there that matches it. I don't know if they're pierced or clip on, but I could only found, find one listed. And it was, and they didn't have a make or model on it either. Is that weird that I say make and model? It is the make and model, right? <laughs> so I think it's super cool, blingy. Okay. This would be I mean cool on a hat as well as a shirt. And how thick is that? It's it's a Denise at forty five. A half inch. It's a half inch thick. Katie at forty eight. Hi, Mr. L Page. Randy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to drop the last part of your line, Randy, and say, Wee doggies! <laughs> Wish we could hear you. We have Denise at 55. This. Katie at 60. Where Katie go? Katie's good, better at uh, clicking on these uh, messages too. <laughs> Hi, who is that? I don't see that. Pat. I don't see it. You don't see it? Or it's just slower on you? No, I don't see the, the part where you're doing. It. Pat Doodley. <gasps> Chrissy stopped for a mocha frappuccino. You can't get that at Walmart. <laughs> and we have Denise at, Denise 65. at sixty-five. Pat, is that, am I saying that right? Pat Doodleys? And Katie is out. <laughs> well, good run, guys. That is a great Texas throwdown. Where are you from, Denise? I'm going to count down to 10. 10, 9, 8, 7. What? 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 <laughs> We just had a Miss LJ pop in at 75. Miss LJ, I do declare 75. <laughs> count it down. All right, we ready to count down? Are you going to keep going, Miss Denise? So Pat Doodle is a uh, new to me. Pat Doodle. Pat Doodles. Pat Doodles? I like Pat Doodles. Ooh, LJ. <laughs> see, see how I just add stuff? Smack down. Yes, it is. Look at her just sneak in there. So, Denise, are you still in? Are you out? Should okay. I count down? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. There we go, Miss Denise. Miss Denise. Oh, you're sneaky, Denise. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all throw it down. Pat Doodle saying hi to LJ, and LJ's like, I don't have time right now. <laughs> <laughs> LJ says hi. LJ, LJ says hello. We'll speak up. She says hello. She <laughs> says hello, Pat Doodles. <laughs> we have Denise at 80. LJ at 90. This is a wonderful, stunning piece, and y'all are making it more stunninger. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> the stunningest. What is that from? <laughs> oh. Grease too. <laughs> yeah, but that's the wrong words. I Kay know it's the wrong words, but Katie's that's... just sitting there with her popcorn, just watching this go. <laughs> All right, Denise is out. We're gonna count down again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Congratulations, LJ. Thank you, y'all. That was a great throwdown. Thank you. Thank you for who participated. I'm sorry I get, didn't have one for each of y'all, though. <laughs> do you have that one? Here. Yep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this last one because Katie will have to leave soon. And I was going to do an offer up on the throwdown. Sorry. Throwdown for this one, too. It's probably not near as nice as that one. But it's um, the crystal beads. Um, what do I have on my paper? It says, um, here it is. Um, Flower crystal bead. No, approach. on here. What's uh, the number? I wrote down um, uh, uh, the name of the crystal. Aurora Borealis crystal beads. Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Borealis. Borealis. So this is starting at 20, 25 as well. And here's the back. There was no name or maker on it. I found some similar, but they didn't have three leaves. They would have two leaves. This is a go tone. These are the, um, the crystal. See, you can, I'm glad you can see the sparkle a little bit in here. And it has the rhinestones around the top. Uh, and we have Christina starting this one out at 25. See the little, the little rhinestones around there and then the the uh, crystal beads and then there's a go tone and it's a long pin okay so here it is it's, it's kind of a heavy pin I guess that's why the long part of the pin is so long so that um, you can really put it in your shirt to keep it from moving up and down uh, side to side but this is it's really pretty not all the rhinestones just got little rhinestones but it has and look it sits high oh wow lj that is awesome what we're shipping it to katie oh that is sweet oh katie girl you are so loved oh <laughs> we got you let me make a note you're super sweet lj that brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Congratulations, Katie. So if we only have Christina interested in this one, I'm going to count down. Did I tell you how long it was? It's four inches tall. Whoop, 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 whoop. Go. Focus, focus. We're going to count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. And Christina got it. Thank you, Christina. We, we have Katie's address, no problem. We've sent her a few things. Thank you, LJ. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> okay. What do y'all want to see next? Oh, why have you here, Katie, real quick? Tell me if you know anything about this. They're super sweet. Katie, what do you know about this? Are you starting a Tammy collection? Are you going to put some bling in your window? Some flowers? <laughs> you were... You are definitely spoilt, Katie. You are such a spoilt one. <laughs> She's not spoiled. She's spoiled. Actually, I'm sending you a little tin too, Katie. Yeah, we're sending you a tin. <laughs> you spoilt brat. <laughs> Katie, do you know anything about these um uh, these uh mugs? Do they look any familiar to you? I could, I had a hard time finding anything on them. I could not find a maker or model, but they're really cool. They are um, canary yellow and they're, 
they're yellow that's cut too clear so i'd only found this glass this glass alone was 36 dollars, and hey, they called Teresa. it a spooner um a spooner art with since i have this i'm calling a sugar and creamer but they called this a spooner um but look at the uh cut in it it's a triangle very nice cut and then the the etched flower on both sides yeah, she's saying there's not a maker but it's from uh czechoslovakia okay because i could not find anything on it but they are super super pretty so eastern europe and, and this one's your creamer but um like i said i only found this one they wanted 36 dollars for the one and they were calling it a spooner and i just learned from katie last week what a spooner was when they're this wide like that you put your spoons in them i guess what what <laughs> the spoon so these are going to be 24 dollars for the set number four and these are engraved um or etched little flower leaves on them right yeah it's etched and it's it's called a yellow to clear and these are triangles inside of there i mean should i say triangles the little divots really i don't know if you can see that very well yeah see that how it goes like that but these are super pretty stunning little pieces so if nobody's interested in those there were 24 dollars number four i'm setting them aside uh. How about some cute little angels? Hmm. Cute little angels. They're this big. They're about this big. They're five inches tall. This guy's going to be expensive. Um, they're playing the tambourine and... What is that, David? Tambourine and banjo? Looks like a banjo. And she's in a mint green dress. And she's in her black dress. Little angels. Now, she has this one. Does have a hairline crack. It's not crazy. It looks like, a, like it was cracked or something. Why aren't you focusing? Must focus. There we go. So, but it's not through here. So I don't get what the, how it got a little crack in it. But this is the way I found them. They're super cute. Little white hair. Oh, let me take uh -huh. that. Off. They're jamming too. I mean, come on, banjo and tambourine. <laughs> I mean, come on. I think these would be really sweet at Christmas time, even though they're mint green and black. I don't know, but they're they're really cute little angels. For the pair of them, it's going to be fourteen dollars, number ten. Do we have any new people in the chat? Say hello, guys. I see there's forty one people in here. Teresa came in. Sweet TS treasure by. Hello, Teresa. Teresa. And I see um, Elaine. Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. I have I have my phone up on this side because sometimes one's faster than the other one. Sometimes I can see it faster on the screen yard. Sometimes I don't. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. Is Joanne still here? Joanne, Joanne, calling Joanne. Clown alert, clown alert. Clown alert, clown alert. I don't know why he's so scary. Look, he's happy. Why is he happy? I mean, he's got a little dark spot here, but he's, he's kind of heavy. 
He's a. Uh, anybody like clowns out there? He's 11 inches. You could put him in your window, and when people walk by, if they see this, it's okay to knock. If they Don't see answer, this, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Just wait. I don't know. And if you see this, do not knock. This is what you put this in the window. And if they, if you're, if people, friends, whoever come up and they see this, they, it's okay to knock. And if you turn them around and they see that, it's not okay to knock. Ooh, really? Maybe I should. No, I'm just, I'm just making that up. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, is this the hobo code or something? <laughs> It's like great, great grub here, or dishonest man lives here. Martha knows. No clowns club. Martha knows what I'm talking about because these are Mad Men references. So. <laughs> Something I think Whitman Joanne was. Oh, about. Joanne's driving too. Should I wait for this? <laughs> She's pulling <Yeah>. over. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready, Joanne. Ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, and this clown, I mean, while you're asleep, he doesn't move that much. I mean, he just moves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the A stands for, but he's going to be $10, number 36. And he was made in 69. Oh, he is old as me. When's your birthday? Hmm? 39, not 36. Oh, February of 69. What did I say? You said 36. Yeah, it's oh, I'm dyslexic, y'all. That's why I have the paper. But he was born in uh, 1969 in February. So he's a little older than me. Oh, see. <laughs> so he's going to be $10. Mr. L. Page. <gasps> oh, Mr. L. Page. Did I say 36? You said 36, but it showed 39. Is it my bad? Hey, you, hey, it's up to you, buddy. Okay. It's, he typed what you said, not what you LJ, said. LJ, did you hear me? I mean, uh, Randy, did you hear me before you saw the paper? Did I say 36? I'm sorry. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> so did you hear me first? Here we go. Or Hear me first before you saw the paper. Sorry. I guess... My Let's bad. What we're doing. Okay, it's going to Randy. Sorry. This is why I shouldn't be doing some of this stuff. And it's not because I'm drinking. It's because I'm really <laughs> dyslexic sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, Randy, it's yours. And let's see. What's next? Anybody else interested in gowns and the gowns? Let me know. If you're not, then I won't even bother to show them, but they're going to be $6 a piece. Um, how about... LJ might be interested. LJ, you interested in some gowns? <laughs> Where do I have the paper at? Where's my paper for this? For what? Oh, right here. Anybody, ready? yeah. Anybody interested in a get it close fairy lamp? Closer still. It's glowing. Turn that light off. Oh, it's going. It's it's showing good there. Oh yeah. This is Indiana glass round something. What is? What did I write down, David? Um. It's an Indiana round glass fairy lamp. It's, it's on that card, I think. Amber round fairy lamp. And Indiana. See, he's not on it. You're supposed to. Well, I wish you could read your writing. <laughs> start it off. We're going to start this off at $24. Indiana mountain. Um, Mountain Vernon, Mount Vernon, it, said, it, it was uh, what I read, Mount Vernon Amber Fairy Lamp. That's sweet of you, Joanne, to give that to Mr. L. Page, Mr. <laughs> Randy. We have Elaine at 30. 
now i just love these new lights instead of putting candles in this stuff you're able to put these little round spotlights in them and the one we have it changes colors i don't know how well it does for the amber if you can tell that it does anything turn off that overhead light flip the switch flip for a minute switch. i love this uh so you can see how well it He's got scary. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good for Halloween right there. And Christmas actually. Red. But the little lights that you can get now, it changes colors and it has a remote control. <laughs> Super All cool. Right. You can dim it. So amber, get a little orange. Yellow. We'll go back to white. Okay, turn it on. So I'm gonna show the lane. details. We have a lane still at 30. <laughs> Did I look spooky? <laughs> and so I'm sure y'all seen these. These are kind of uh I've seen these around. And Amber, you see so much more than the colored ones. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. That little but this is in great condition. No chips. not feeling nothing so so if we have only elaine interested in the fairy ball lamp we're gonna start counting it down from 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one stop and elaine bagwell gets it for 30. thank you elaine yep. now lj made a very thoughtful point he said wife is better when people are nice kind and thoughtful and for gifting that to katie that was so well said yeah if we could have more people like that don't i mean not necessarily gifting we can just have nice people in the world we it all be a better place okay next i have up are these um yeah 70s kind of uh picture frames look they're 3d it's a boy and a girl praying they're 10 by 6 on an inch thick of wood a little boy i don't know bye what katie. this is by katie um if this is some kind of it's really cool though how they put the hair i don't know if this is some kind of clay design but see it's 3d and it's a boy and girl praying she has he has a dog under his chair with the bone dog in the bone are they at a table they must be at the dinner table praying and then her and her long little locks Cody Locks hair and she has a cat under her table. I mean chair. <laughs> See? Y'all, y'all are just gonna learn to talk Tam Tam eventually. My whole family had to adjust. <laughs> so we have these little wood plaques. They have hangers already ready on the back, ready to hang. I think they're super cute. They're probably oh. kind of 70-ish. Uh-huh. Someone's saying we're frozen, but I don't think so. You may need to refresh. You may need to fresh, refresh your browser. Because I see, see it's still going on my phone. Yeah, we're, we're rolling right along. Christina says we're good. Pay it forward is amazing. Yes, I, I'm with you, Yvonne. So these will be, for this pair, this little sweet set, it's going to be $8, number two. $8 for this cute little, I don't know, I'm saying 70s, and I, I can't tell you what this is made of. I don't know, but it's really sweet. For $8. $8, number two. And, okay, here we have a little bird. A little bluebird um, figurine. He has a label here, 
but it's really worn and I can't, it's, you can't read it. I mean, we really can't read it because it won't focus. But it's it's very um, blurred or something. It, you can't read it. So, Bluebird. It's a Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Mm -hmm. He is um, five inches tall. Put him on your shoulder. Mr. Bluebird on her shoulder. <laughs> She fell for it, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Now, he did. He does have a little nick on his wing here. See, it's supposed to look like that, I guess. So the little uh, tip of it is messed up. So, yes, yeah, this one. So he will be eight dollars, and he is number twenty-one. Bye, Mr. L. Page, Randy. Bye, Randy. He's he's a nice guy. Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, the Blue Jay was eight dollars, number twenty-one. Does somebody want the Blue Jay? No, I was just. Oh, okay. It. All right. Next, I have up I this. Pay a lot for this airtime, so I just want to make sure it's not quiet <laughs> anymore. Next up, I have this tiki mug. Anybody have a tiki bar out there? It is carved monkey pod wood. Monkey pod. Monkey pod wood. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. Oh, I still I always forget that. Bye, L page. <laughs> Then we. That's Mr. L. Page to you. <laughs> then here's the tags. It's from the Philippines, made in the Philippines. So, this card. This came all the way from Southeast Asia, y'all. So, anybody have a tiki bar? This would be great. MacArthur fought in the Philippines. <laughs> and he is going to be $10. Number 37. $10, number 30. You know what? 37. If someone had a tiki bar, that would hold all Yeah, where's cool Christina? Stars. Christina, yeah. Uh, Christina from um, Lilacs, Lilacs Vintage, I think it is. She has a collection of tinky. That would look great. <laughs> Until you throw it in the ground. Hold all your stirs in there. That would look skintastic. <laughs> skintastic, yeah. Less than 10, are you from the Philippines? I don't know where Lilac is. I haven't seen her in two sales. Two sales. Okay, next I have a shell brass bookend. This ha does have some weight to it. It has a felt bottom. There is only one. Just one. But he's heavy. Nice shell brass bookend. And it is um, four inches tall. And it will be eight dollars. Number 15. Eight dollars, number fifteen. Mm-hmm. For all those Shell oil collectors. Next, I have. I don't know if y'all know if if you know someone that collects Shell oil or um, Shell collections, then what they call the pectin or the Shell. They could they gave out these diaries every year. Every year you get a new diary, desk diary. I think it was about eight by eight. And that would be good to hold those if you need someone to have those. Okay, Joanne. Okay, next up I have this pillow. It's a really sweet pillow. I think it's super cute. I don't think my granddaughter's seen it yet. 
Okay, Joanne. But this is a little um that's sweet of you, Joanne. Little uh what is this? Um Holly Hobby. And I don't know if it's Holly Hobby, but it's like a little decal they cut out to put just put on the pillow. The pillow is like 19 inches by 19, 19 by 19, and it's a poly stuff. And this is um, the felt, um, what is that stuff called, felt? I mean, I do sew in all the time, and I can't never think of the name. This? Um, yeah, felt, yeah. felt, right? No, right, Martha? Like, um, you, no, not felt, make, but. Um, what do you make the uh, those quilts with, those tie quilts? It feels yeah, um, I'm trying to think of the name, but it's I can't think of the name. Super cute and super soft, and it's really fat. But I love the picture on it. I just love that. It is going to be ten dollars, and it's number twenty-five for this cute little pillow. Fleece? Fleece, yeah. That's it. Angie. Angie, <laughs> the mind reader. She's clairvoyant. You go, Angie. <laughs> you go, Glen Coco. Oh, here I have another Father's Day mug. That would be great for Father's Day. With all these hats. Again, we could put our sweet treats in it. Dad's favorite candy, some beef jerky sticks, um, just or his favorite coffee in here. It's just like the other one. Pocket watch. Yeah, or you could put another gift on the inside of it, but and wrap it up in cellophane, and it's a gift. Really cool. So if you're wanting Father Father's Day. Then I get it shipped out immediately. So, because that's next weekend, ain't it? I think. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm the dad. I'm not supposed to know. What it is. <laughs> it's going to be $8. And it's number 34. Heck, this might have even been good for uh, Katie. <laughs> I bet she don't have every one of these hat hats. She don't have one of these top hats. <laughs> she did a, um, a hat tour. The 20th. So it'd be ready in time. That's super cute. Those are cute. $8 number 34. And then we have up is. Put my sticker off. David called this a pie bird. No, it wasn't a pie bird. He said a pie bird. He I, thought it was a pie bird. I thought it was a pie duck. Okay. But I was wrong. Okay, a pie duck. Okay, there is no opening in the bottom. It has a little lip here. So, you like this. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. So, it has a little lip there where you could put your paint brushes. Or your cigarettes, but the cigarette, you put a cigarette in here and the smoke comes out the mouth. It's really cute. It's an ashtray is what I'm guessing. It's basically an ashtray. But he has the pretty pink, a little hey bit Barb. of pink and black. Uh, hi, Barb. Hey, Barb, I, I just messaged Jeffrey. I got his address, but I'm sending something to your brother. So he's cute now. Oh, he does have. Yep. Yeah, David didn't see that. He's got a tiny boo boo. Where is it? Can you see that? Hey, cricket. He's got a little chip right here. A chip on his. He's got fin. the chippiest of chips. So he's really cute. So. And and if you don't want it, then I'll keep it. <laughs> just, just between. Don't. Don't tell Tim. Eight dollars, number yeah, yeah. nineteen, because <laughs> I can't hear him. It'll be eight dollars, number nineteen, for this ashtray duck. <laughs> I 
Vintage Thrifted Treasure Games. Hello. Hi, Laura. Is that Laura? Mm-hmm. I didn't know who that was. Mm -hmm. Hi, Laura. And then next up I have this, is it Lucite? I think it's Lucite. Lucite. Where you can see through it. Let's uh, go, Lucite. Napkin holder with the butterfly and the flower. There's no, no making motto on the back, but really cute. Um, napkin holder. It's a uh, stands five inches tall and it's um, two, two and a half inches wide with the, the butterfly. Old, the old vintage Lucite napkin holder. And the sunflower on both sides, butterfly and the little um, fern, like fern. Yeah, so 60s. Definitely 60s. And it will be, wait, what is this? Butterfly napkin holder, yeah. Will be $6, and it's number 12. Got to hold a lot of napkins. It's pretty thick. Yeah, blue pillow. Let's see. Oh, here. And then here we have. Do anybody know what these are? The um, mm, Joan Walsh. England. Joan Walsh, England. It's a sampler. It's a the 12, 12 drawings in here. So these are the 12 drawings in color, color from Spring is a New Beginning, A Friend is Someone Who Likes You, Love is a Special Way of Feeling, and Christmas is a Time of Giving. So it's the Joan Walsh Anglin sampling. And while she's flipping through those, and I will, I'm not big, but maybe I can get these in. The pages are 14 by 11. They're a thick cardstock. Very nice illustrations. Super cool. I don't know if it's if it's different um, times of the year, or I mean, I'm sure there are well, some. Well, there. These are illustrations from. Four of her books. Cute. I love me some Christmas. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, so sweet. Bringing her a Mother's Day gift. Is this 12? It seems like more. She's her uh, arms tired. Yeah. That one's cute. Froggy. There's a frog on it. Oh, that one's cute. Look at the babies. These are great illustrations. I wish I could draw that good. You probably could. You just don't do it. Oh, and this is this is so sweet. This is uh looks like Lisa and <laughs> Tammy embracing each other in a sisterly hug. This is gonna be my two granddaughters, the Mac girls. I call them Matt girls because their last names are McDonald. That's Macy and Frankie. Or Lisa and Tim Tim. <laughs> so we get all these, this whole box, and this cute little thing. Is there a year on this? 58. 1958. 1958. Oh, there's different years on here. Well, 55. There's four bucks. Okay. 63. 63. Uh, what is it? 58. So there's different years on here. I didn't even realize that. Well, there are four different books. So. so for this box set will be $15 and it's number 26. I'm sorry if that took me so long to go through those. <laughs> $15, number 26. Thank 
Pinky Christina. Are you going to hang those up and make you a toy room for your grandbabies? Oh, let's do one more throw down. Anybody like a Lucite candles? Start that. It's a... Um, this is going to start at, what did I put in there? Um, We're starting at 20. Starting at 20. It's 11 and a half inches long. It has this wick. Of course, these aren't burnable. My hair is falling out. And, and it has, it's a yellow one with the gold flakes. Focus, focus. Where is it? There we go. Yellow with the gold flakes. 11 and a half inches. And it has the little plastic dauber thing. So if anybody's interested in that, these are so pretty. Any time of the year. Christina, 20. I have a hair on me. I can't find it. That's <laughs> that's lingering on me. <laughs> it's yeah, we're good. So pretty, pretty. Now these are. I don't come by these very often. So Who does. I don't know. There's some people out there that's finding all the colors. I uh, I have um, one set myself that I'm keeping. Turn to David that way. <laughs> And I like to find all the colors because I started me a mid-century set. So we have the gold lucite. And if, start the countdown already. <laughs> if nobody else is interested, then I will start the countdown. So <laughs> it is. Uh, what do we start? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Good job, Christina. Christina got it. <laughs> and there's, a, there's only one. That was only a single one I had. Okay. Um. Okay, let me show you this cutie. I really love this one. And you know what attracted me the most to this? Is the TV. Oh, my God. Isn't this cute? I've never seen this one before. And I don't normally pick up any kind of, like, baby-like planners. But that TV just had me at hello. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's got little bears and the flowers in it. I mean, I want a TV like that, y'all. It's a little bear saying, oh, my favorite bear's on TV right now. It's my favorite California pottery with the flowers in it. The width is about five inches and um, five inches wide, five inches tall from here to here to here to here. Um, is there, it's made from, and made in Japan. That's a Japan sticker. Look how worn that is. Japanese so, back in the days just pull at your heartstrings. I mean, this is like all the cute. Yeah, I I mean this right. usually this usually tells um, some age to an item. But um, little little tail butt. <laughs> a little what? Tail butt. His tail butt. <laughs> but this is super cute. <laughs> I don't mind getting stuck with this at all. I love the TV. I just love the TV the part. TV's cool. <laughs> David found it, of course. David found it. He loves to take credit for his good finds. This thing was buried like three items deep on the bottom of a bookshelf in some <laughs> little tiny town in nowhere, Texas. Well, wait. Take that back. Everywhere is somewhere in Texas. I didn't mean nowhere, Texas. <laughs> it is $18, number eight. Mm hmm. Super cute. And Joanne is going to pick that one up. We got you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. This 
Um, we have, uh, anybody know any lawyers? It's a lawyer uh, paperweight button. A good lawyer knows the law. A great lawyer knows the judge. How true is that? Now, I don't know how vintage this is, but it was cute and they sell for a lot more online. But today we're going to just do, this is about um, almost three inches wide, three inches around. We're going to do this. I know Chrissy has a friend that she could give this to. $15, number 41. This lawyer button paperweight. It's a paperweight. And it has a felt on the back. If you know someone who just graduated from law school. Tell him to get to know the judge. Get to know the judge. Learn the <laughs> trick of the truth. Did I show everything? I think so. Oh, wait, that's right here. Oh, yeah. And. Oh, yeah, that's everything. The book card, yes. So we have this little single, single shaker. It's black. It has um, this painting on the top of it. Now, I think these are called sugar shakers. It has its uh, stopper. Where does it say? I can't get Japan. the song out of my head. I'm sorry. Japan, the original uh, cork stopper. Now, these are really cool. Focus. Hello. These, I think these are really cool because I've seen a lot of these where they use that put those long hat pins in for decorations or you know how people are making the wire uh, flower buttons. Those are really cute. Um, putting wires in here with button, um, multiple buttons on there for uh, making flower arrangements out of them. Really cute. But this is black. It has a little bit of painting on the top. Hey, Picasso cat. Hi. Yeah, Joanne, we're going to run through everything. Yeah. Doing, so. And it's going to be $6 and it's number six. Did all I tell the you single how? Shakers, all the single shakers. Four and a half all inches single, tall. All the single shakers. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think that's the song. <laughs> all the single shakers? No. Single shakers? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's the, single shakers. <laughs> YouTube's going to slap us because of the tune only. Oh, oh stop watch. that. Just watch. Stop talking. And then the gowns, if anybody's interested, these are going to be $5 gowns. And the, I have $5 on them because they might have a flaw to them. Like this one, it's really cute flaw because they put a patchwork in on it. I like that. You patch up those moo moos. Keep, keep moo moo in that moo moo. They're that uh, silky. I mean, it has like this little hoe right there tiny hoe on this one but that one had a hoe in it and they patched it up with some floral floral design made it look real cute um and then the top has a lace here it is this one is a small to medium size hmm it's a, the bust is 36, the waist is 30, the length is 44. I'm sorry, the length is uh, 54. And the waist is, it has lace around it. So really cute. I don't know that the tag wasn't on it, so I don't know the maker of this one. And it's going to be $6 if you're interested in that one. And then this blue one. Uh, what does that say? It's a size mm. medium. The 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 bond. Dur, dur. Yeah, good luck with this. If David can't read it, I can't read it. Funkenberg. I'm just going to show y'all. She's going to show you. That's the name of this gown. 
<laughs> so if you can pronounce it great it is a size medium it apparently it had a belt on it at one time because here's the loopy thing what well, was wrong with this one actually i don't think nothing was wrong with this one it has slits on the side it's a long gown I can hold it and it's not lacy it just has that that pretty blue there's nothing wrong with this one but it's a medium and it's also six front. does it did you see this thing yeah show the show the front come on show the front I'll point out to you okay this right thing is, it's possible that it'll be washed that. out. Oh, that can be, that'd probably be washed out. Unless it's a grease spot. I it's don't a know. a tiny little grease spot. Well, it too will be $6. So I have this one for 6 this peach one for 6 and the mint green will be for 6 that I showed earlier. So. Let me look at the name again, the one we couldn't figure out. Y'all can let me know on that. And I think that was it. So I'm going to run back through everything. You're right. It is Diane von Furstenberg. <laughs> and I'm losing my peoples. My peoples are going away. Um, so let me run through. They are nightgowns, Terry. Yes. Yes. They're six, $6 each. So let me run through everything. The next. No, I, I don't. I don't think I have. I might have some more gowns in there. I'll have to look and see if I have any extra large ones. Okay, here's the rundown, folks. Okay, so we had this. A second. Okay. The little deer planner. He's black and orange spots. Super cute. Ten dollars, number thirty-five. Then we had an enamel cherry pin, $16, number 30. Then we have uh, let me pick this. this cute little ceramic plaque. I love this thing. Stop. <laughs> um, $14, number 11. We got you, Joanne, for 35 I love this one. I could find a place to hang this somewhere. Um, what was, no. Then we had the um, Treasure Craft Salt and Pepper Shaker with the orange and, orange and yellow. I love those colors, orange and yellow. For twelve dollars, number eighteen. You know who else likes those colors? Who? Orange and yellow. Who? Who? Tim Tim. Me. Me. <laughs> and. Treasure craft. What number is the nightgown? Which color? Which uh, Which color do you want? You can just say the color. I had the blue one, a peach one, and the mint green one. Did you need another sizes again? I do it the size of that one. Barbley, no. I have a younger brother, and he is married. And oh, the little. I had the a pack of dogs. Four of them. The little miniature figurines. This one looks like it might have been a planner of some kind, if you can put a plant in it. I don't think so. <laughs> little air plant. And they were $10 for the set, number 17. And. Oh, the um, 
the mercury glass candle set will be number 32 at $25. And if those don't sell, I'll probably put those on Etsy. Then the little pie bird ashtray. <laughs> um, he was... Pie eight. bird ashtray. <laughs> Rub it in. $8, number 19. The lawyer button. I know I ain't going in um, the right order for these. $15, number 41. The Father's Day gift mug, possibly. We sold the one with the hats, but this is the one with the shaving. Oh, you sold the ones with the hat? Mm -hmm. You sure? Okay. Yeah. This is the shaving, like hair tonic, brushes, shaving mug straight razor and a razor blade i don't know what that's all that would have been good if you had a dad and a stepdad you could give one to each hey now hey <laughs> eight dollars number 33. Yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> and then we had the little blue bird or not little blue bird blue jay blue jay it was eight dollars number 21. um then the uh Tiki mug from the Philippines. Ten dollars, number thirty-seven. We had our sweet little wood seventies pictures that are this big. Eight dollars. Number two. Let me know if I'm going too fast. I don't think so. Okay. You've got a very nice pace. Then the napkin, Lucite napkin holder. Six dollars, number 21. I mean, uh, 12. See, I'm dyslexic. Actually, I might be looking at it backwards. <laughs> Twelve. You're doing great. Oh, in the pillow. It'll throw pillow. It's nineteen inches by nineteen by nineteen. Ten dollars. Number twenty-five. Let me know on the gowns if you were interested in one. I'll give you more details on the the color of it. And then the uh, parties for children. Cool uh, graphics. Betty Crocker. Cool graphics. What was 17, David? What do you need? Uh, $12 for number three. The dog figurines. Melinda, we have you for 17, the group of dog figurines. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you. We have Christina Taylor for number 12. What was number 12? <laughs> the napkin holder. Oh. We got you, Christina, for the napkin holder. Let's see where I put it. And then we still had the purse. Now, this one had a couple of flaws here and here, and then the stain on the inside. But it's a nice beaded purse. The, all the beads are there. The beads look great, and it's a kind of a hefty purse good for decorations as well if you can put something here to that's why i put it at eight dollars number 40. and we still have the magazines careful two magazines you see the, the standard one, size it, 
the woman's day is December 1940, and if she stops moving, the Ladies Home Journal is December of 1934. 34. Wow. 1934. For the set of them is $14, number 22. Fourteen dollars, number twenty-two, and then I think this is the last piece. I think did I show that one again? Mm -hmm. Is the yellow canary sugar creamer cut to clear glasses number twenty-four dollars, number four. Twenty-two, David. All right, we have Terry for number twenty-two. What was the magazines. it? The magazines. Thank you, Terry. Okay, I think that was it. Um, who was asking about the gown? Let me know if you're interested. I'll give you the more detail on that. Thank you, Terry. The colored gowns. I mean, that's a good deal because I usually sell these for a lot more. But since they had those little flaws, I was like, let them let them get a home. <laughs> and I'm putting all this. I don't know if I showed the shaker again, the black shaker. It was six dollars. Uh, single shaker. Yeah. Single sugar shaker. I'm trying to put this back on my cart here. Okay. And that's it. Thank you, guys. That was I a good show. Made it. <laughs> How did David do? Would y'all have him back? Show me your hands if I did a good job. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> He's no Katie, but you know. Thank you all for uh, joining us tonight. Mm -hmm. I had fun. I was a little nerve wracked, but I was fine. <laughs> Thanks, Jeannie. Good night, Jeannie. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you, Christina. Always supportive. <laughs> and remember, for those of who are left, I have a sale tomorrow. It's a um, red, white, and blue sale on my channel at uh, 6 Central, 7 Eastern. And then Friday night, come join us, Vintage After Dark. After everybody's done with their sales, we're going to have a little sale and probably a chit chat. I think Thank last you, Sarah Friday. Lee. We stayed on until 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, Sara Lee. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, hun. Thank you, Barb. Thanks for joining. Glad to see you, Barb. I'll get um, Aaron's thing out when I ship all this out. So... Yeah, it was a great sale, y'all. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> three bottles of wine. You already had three. Oh, you're now you're bringing three bottles of wine. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. It might be a funny show. <laughs> <laughs> Terry says I'm a great kisser. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, sir Lee. We usually have a little chit chat after um, our Friday night's um, show, and sometimes we have on this one. But we'll see. I'm hot. I'm still hot. I'm still trying to clear, um, cool off. I need popsicles. That helps me cool off. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll hang out a little bit if you want to chat. Have any questions? I think your sister left. Lisa, are you still here? Jim and Lisa are gone. Are they? Because, you know... Um, my sister is a loser if she left. It's still daylight up there in Canada. Yeah. So they probably went bear hunting or wolverine trapping or riding some giant moose. Chris, Christina, are you still here? Have you ever seen a moose up there in Canada? They drove by one. And at least my sister took a picture of one. And that sucker is bigger than, than our freaking horses in this area. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> that sounds good. Chocolate chip mint ice cream. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. She, uh, she showed us a picture and it was, she says, they'll, they'll total your car. They'll just step right on it and keep going. Yes, Shirley. Uh, so Beth of Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties, she's southwest of us near Sugarland in Sugarland area, and um, we're east uh, east of downtown Houston. And even Martha with uh, Vintage Conversation is east of downtown Houston. Martha we're general, is, we're yeah. All the general area. Martha's like 10 minutes away from me, and Beth is almost 40 minutes away. 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And uh, Christy with Tippy Winks. Oh, Christy's in the middle of us. Um, yeah, Christy's so in just north of She thinks I'm far, but uh, she's like 20 minutes away from me. Yeah. I mean, 30 minutes around Houston is not far for anything. Your I mean, we used to go to car crashes with them. What? With the mooses? The mooses? <laughs> no, she said. Yeah, we were talking about the moose. Oh, okay. Because they, they can destroy a car. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Yes. Um, when is our next thrift trip? I don't know. With the group? Uh, no, she's saying she saw that we. Oh, we went on a thrift trip. Oh, yeah, okay. that was Round Top. We yes. met up at Round Top. We and that's were, coming up in October. Yeah, we'll do that again in October. De okay, oh, Terry, Denton. Denton is in near the Dallas Fort Worth area, Denton, Texas. So that's north of us, about six hours away, six and a half north. Where is that? What? We're Sherry Oh, in Seattle. Uh, in Seattle, I want to go. To, okay. Yeah, so I'd like wait. to go to say, Seattle. So I'm waiting. I probably have to wait till next year, but I want a trip to go see our baseball team, the Astros, play the baseball team in Seattle, and I would like to do that trip. That'd be pretty. Neat. Yes, Texas is a big state. I, on one of my videos, I did a, a map where we, all the stops we made, I showed it. That's a picture on my video showing all the little dots, the area that we hit. So we, see, when we go to my grandma's, we always take a, try to take a different route to find, because old towns, love them old towns, hunting for vintage. Christina, you think Seattle's big? Wait till you see Houston. It's huge. <laughs> But Seattle's much prettier. Yeah, probably so. I've never been to Seattle. I've never been up there. I've seen it on, um, what is that? Uh, where they meet in the tower. She flies from Seattle. Tom uh, Hanks and Meg Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle. The Mariners, yeah. I was going to say the Mariners. I know they're the Mariners, but not everyone in the chat knows they're the Mariners. <laughs> used to uh, oh oh i want to go to portland oregon so if you go to portland oregon i have to go to portland best oh i can own i i i'm so jealous of portland oregon do y'all watch um ever see are y'all all on instagram do you ever see uh magpie ethel that woman cannot go shopping and not bring nothing good home. I mean, that's what Joanne's saying. She says you have to go to Portland, Oregon. They have the best thrift. Mm, that her whole entire house is kitschy. That I mean, every single thing on that wall, everything, and she she has shoe boxes of display going down her stairwell, and up there there's a little cubby hoe. She has just shoe boxes, cute vintage shoe boxes, just displayed. That's where I got my window display um, idea from. She had a shadow box, which she changes out. It's not always her um, flower pins. Um, she changes it out. And how she manages to change out through every holiday for every season. Oh, my God. That woman is just. Christina says you're the magpie of 
You're the magpie Ethel of Texas. <laughs> I don't think so. I wish. I wish. Because, I mean, she has awesome stuff. I just ooh and all over everything. Oh, and it was, uh, when did I tell you that garage sale was happening? This weekend, I think. I think Here. it was this weekend. And I was like, David, can we go to Portland, Oregon this weekend? <laughs> that was too short of a notice. But apparently her area has garage sales. They didn't do it last weekend. So she's going to have double the stuff this, you know, this garage sale. And um, it is completely all vintage. And she showed that on her Instagram. Garage sale, getting ready for a garage sale. You know, missed last year. So this year should be double the fun. I was like, oh, I was just like, mm, Texas has to be so far away. I wish I lived central. That way it's easier to just shoot everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, love that woman. Love love everything she has. Her craft room is jam-packed and super organized. It's just, she's just to die for. Stumptown? Well. Stumptown coffee. I'm, I'm telling you, he's going to take me there one year, you know, someday, one year, someday. <laughs> Cannot wait. Joanne's yes. asked me, did she show yes. the pink kitchen? Children set. Yes. And that was in her last garage sale. Yeah, I was and the, the prices were pretty darn good. Because um, if you zoomed in on the picture, you could see what she was asking, I think maybe $20 for the, for a piece. I don't know if it was for the set or each piece, but. What's her name on IG? Terry's asking. It is um, Meg, Meg Pie. Meg M Pie or Meg Pie? M-E-G. Oh, Meg Pie. Pie Ethel. Meg Pie is one word than Ethel. Well, on IG, it's all one word, but she's not on Instagram. Actually, we try to get her to maybe do a show and tell with Katie. I Meg mean, I don't pie. know where she would start. <laughs> Meg pie Ethel. Ethel, uh huh. Cut. I. And she's oh, she's been in magazines. I, I forget. I don't know what if it was Home and Garden. I don't know what magazine it was, but she's been in magazines. They come to her. And she don't have a YouTube account. She just Ethel does IG. Excuse me. Ethel let the dogs out. Who let the dogs out? What? Yeah, Meg pie Ethel. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, y'all have to check her out. She commented on my um, my Instagram where I showed my uh, collection of my flower pins in the window. And I tagged her in it. And uh, she commented on it. So, I told her I got the idea from her. And that's when I started them. When I, when the first year that I saw them. I want to say it was last year I started. Started collecting flower pins. And so, you get flower frogs. And you just put those um, enamel flower pins in them. And it looks like a little bouquet of flowers. If y'all haven't seen that, go look. And if you see it, click like. So I know you saw it. <laughs> you have the, that magazine that Santa cut out. That's pretty cool. I mean, she, and she also has an amazing collection of Christmas stuff. She goes to an estate sale and she's, and she's talked about, you know, how she has to dig and there is not one new thing in that. And she'll have a slew of stuff um, out on her sidewalk where she shows it a slew of stuff. Every single bit of it is kitschy and vintage. Just, it's amazing that woman has an eye for stuff and 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 she makes stuff she she sells online she gathers her stuff she makes so much stuff and then she puts it on etsy and that so that's very far few in between so you have to catch her when she listens because she also does um um craft shows or or i think pop-up shows so um yeah she's she's amazing she has so many, her, she has a she shed full stuff, stuff. Look, go look at her Instagram, scroll through it. There's um, videos where she takes you on tours of things. Um, oh, and she has a beach house. Why go not? Look after, go look after <laughs> we sign off. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, why not? She even has a beach house. Very cool theme, beach themes. 
she has a, a, a collection on one wall of, of all the swim hats, vintage swim hats. Amazing. Amazing. That woman is amazing. I want to go visit her. I want to go in ooh and on her, her, um, show up one day. Museum of a house. Right. So hello. We're here from Houston. Hello. <laughs> oh, her article in the magazine. You have that magazine, Joanne? My Tam Tam Juice needs ice. I will come off stream here. Why? Because I can get you ice. You don't have to go off. Just start following her. <laughs> oh, you just started following her? She's amazing. You have to, you'll, you'll just sit there and um, go down a rabbit hole looking at all of her stuff. Make so, yeah, I can't, I, I'll sit here and try to remember different things. She, oh, and one of her staircases going up the stairs, she had this, you know, you know how in the old houses you go up the stairs and there's a banister, just a solid wood, short half, um, level banister um, to go up the stairs and come around and go back to the bedrooms or whatever. Well, she, her, her and her dad, or her dad and her husband hollowed it out and made cabinets in that so wide of a banister. Just perfect for smalls. Tons of little smalls. She has glass uh, doors and she has a, just a slew of smalls in there. I look at her stuff and I was like, hmm, where can I do that in my house? Where can I do that? Where can I do that? <laughs> Cozen hats, textiles from era. Oh, wow. I wonder if Magpie wears actual um, vintage clothes. Um... She just posted the pictures of her where she got married. I, I had to look twice. I didn't re realize it was her. Um, yeah, I saw the, uh, and she was wearing her mama's wedding gown. Yeah, I keep up with me some magpie. I can't wait to get a new idea from her. <laughs> well, Sarah Lee, if you're following her, you better be following me on Instagram. Yes, sir. You better be following me. <laughs> Tell me you're following me. Just type in yes. Oh, yeah. I'll follow you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is that? There. But. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Um. I am vintage uprising. Oh, see, see, you're not following me on Instagram. <laughs> I am vintage uprising Texas on everything. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, uh, what else am I? Uh, Etsy. Etsy. But I also have, I don't get to do much here lately. Um, I also have a Tam Tam's creation. T-A-M, T-A-M, creation. Tam Tam's creation on Instagram. Y'all go look at that and go see what um, stuffs I make. Stuffs I make. <laughs> I make a like a tomorrow for my red, white, and blue sale. I made this for that. Let me scoot this tray over. It's right here. Let me grab it. Ow, I've been sitting too long. And if you're following me on Instagram, you would see it. But this is all vintage fabric, and I made this in ribbon. I made this for my red, white, and blue cell for tomorrow. A little pillow. And a kit. I want to make a lot of vintage pillows. I have lots of vintage fabric in my sewing room next door. Um, I would, that's one of the first things I started collecting when I made my salon smaller. I moved it over to another room over there next door and <laughs> took that bigger area for my, Christine. what, for Chris, my. Christina said that Ethel said to me that, that you should give her half of your flower brooch collection. <laughs> <laughs> 
Take half of Ethel. She has way more than I do. LOL. <laughs> Look, it uh, it um, didn't take me long to collect those because I always go looking and you know, always, I always kind of shop for mine for you know around everything. All of those that I got are mm, let's say six and under. You know, if they're more unusual, I might have paid up a little bit more, but I shop until because. I have enough. I mean, actually, I got a. I just posted on my. Did I post it on my Instagram? I think I did. I need some more flower frogs because I got a few that I need to post. Like David made me more. I only had that much tonight, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah Lee. Check out my um Tam Tam Joanne. I want you to check out my Tam Tam's creations too, on Instagram. I um I want to sew. I don't sew clothes. I don't do shirts. You know, I don't do sleeves kind of thing. Um, but I have made pillowcase dresses for my granddaughters. I made my oldest granddaughter, who y'all saw the other night on my live haul. They just popped in. Oh, and, and believe me, they always watch me on YouTube. I think it's hilarious. They're always watching me. Oh, and that's another thing I'm gonna I was gonna t tell y'all. But um. So they were so ecstatic when they went back to watch that video that they were on on the online on on the TV. <laughs> they were so ecstatic. Um, so I've been I have this video, the very first one they did, and I want to do a video of it. I don't know if I'm going to do it at a, a clip at the beginning of one of my um, hauls or what, but or I'm just going to do a video of them because just last night they did it again. <laughs> they were sitting there and acting like they were selling. This is this, and it's two hundred dollars. <laughs> it was hilarious. So, at one of their videos that they made last night, they were doing doing this. Make sure you click subscribe, whatever, uh, thumbs up. They were doing something like that. I said I'm gonna take that clip and I'm gonna put it at the end of all of my videos <laughs> for y'all to make sure y'all subscribe, thumbs up. That is, they leave a comment. They did those too, but it was hilarious. That's gonna be my ending on my videos now cute little rug rats they are Sarah Lee why don't you message Tammy on Instagram your link so she can follow you oh if you can oh, can you put it in here I don't know if you can put it in here or not yeah I'm not on are you Sarah Lee on Instagram okay. I'll go find you right now what's your name what's your name girl and let me tell you let me show you what I look. Oh, I have um, I have several Instagram accounts. I had Vintage Uprising Texas. My Texas is always TX Toys. Vintage Uprising Texas Toys. Vintage Uprising Texas Baby. Vintage. Um, my personal one's cute Tam Tam because I'm cute. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? Um, my Tam Tam. Oh, Tam Tams with an S underscore Creations. I'm sorry and barking dogs if you like dogs uh i make bandanas and stuff so here's what my logo looks like it's tam tams with an s underscore creations with an s oh look somebody just followed me <laughs> christina um can i show that picture bigger Is that picture on it shows all the stuff that I made I'm trying to put all of it on one spot because I like trying to make this is how I make my creation this this is my logo for Tam Tam's creations if you see that but it's Tam Tam's s creations with an s and an underscore in between so what did I just I saw something just buzz. So what is yours? Did she type it in? Sarah Lee, what's your... Um, you messaged me on IG? Oh, you found me on IG? Uh, do y'all have to request to follow me? Suggest. 
I'm trying to find. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm getting lost in that. <laughs> so, but if you just followed me, then I'll find you and I'll follow you back. Mm. Where did you message me on which one? I'm probably in the wrong one. But it's easy to toggle back and back and forth on um, on Instagram when you have more than one account. Oh, Col it, let's see, Sarah Lee. So Coleman underscore collections. Is that you? Coleman underscore collections. I think I followed you back. Yeah, I always post my my um, upcoming post. I mean, upcoming sales and stuff on here, and usually do a little preview. And um, because I can't do it on YouTube unless I just show a whole video of my preview. I found you. I just added you. Mm -hmm. uh, do look. You are eight subscribers away from 600. Am I? Eight subscribers away from 600. I'm going to do a giveaway at 700. Right? We'll do a giveaway at 700. Okay. It's taken forever to get to 1,000. I'm no Michael. I can't jump to 1,000 in one day. <laughs> what, did, what, did Terry, what did Terry say? Where did I see that? You have 14. How old are you, woman? You got 14 grandchildren? She is 32. You're 32 and you got four. <laughs> I need to move you to the other side, Davey, because you look that way and you don't look at me. There you go. Now when he looks at me, he'll be looking. He'll be looking right. I have five grandchildren. I have five children from 35, from 24 to 35. Four boys, one girl. The last one was a girl. I probably would have stopped at a girl if she was the first one because I wanted a girl. So the good Lord says, nope, you're going to get more. <laughs> so I have five children and five grandkids. And that's only from two children, the five grandkids. It's from two. I still got three more kids to go. I will get to 14 someday, I bet. 14 grandkids. I love, at Christmas time, I always try to make things. I'm always trying to, um, one year I made them all, which is all my Tam Tam's creation. Um, I made um, all my girls, my daughter-in-laws and my daughter, all PJs and their, their girls, if they had a girl, I made them matching PJs for um, the daughters and the mommies. Um, I just got plain t-shirts and sewed a pocket to match the pants. All out of vintage sheets. Um, I like trying to make things. One Christmas, I made all of my grandkids and all of my sister's grandkids um, aprons of things that they were into. Um, uh, uh, aprons for painting. And I made them, I, I did a little collection of painting kits. Oops. David left. <laughs> he had to go to the potty. He does this. <laughs> yeah, I know what that is. Um, I got married at 16, mother at 17. <laughs> hey, girl. We have something in common. <laughs> I got married at 16. Um... I had four boys by the time I was 21. Yeah. Yikes. I love them when they're babies. And then they grow up. Although, they're even better when they're older. Well, some of them. Because one don't come see his mama like he should. Um. <laughs> They're also cute. I want. I tell my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, why aren't you little? Stay little. I'm gonna put a brick on your head. She's like, I have to grow. I said, No, you don't. Choose not to. <laughs> Stay little. I want my baby back. Oh. Well, 
you, you got uh, five children too? Well, you beat me. Because <laughs> I had the four boys by the time I was 21. And then I didn't have my daughter because then I got remarried. And I didn't have her until I was 28. 27 or 28. So, man, I was not happy about starting over too. And I told him, man, if that was a boy, him and that baby were out of here. He can take the boy. If I was going to have another boy, I didn't need more, no more children. I wanted a girl like four kids ago. <laughs> and it wasn't happening. Literally, I had midwives. I had midwives for my last two children. My youngest boy was born at home. Wonderful, wonderful, great experience. Um, I never had drugs with any of them. But... Um, but with my fifth one, with my daughter, one by the time I married him, we had insurance. So they wouldn't let me have her at home. But I still had a midwife in a hospital and they were trying to stick the IV in me. And I was like, no, I don't want that. But it was hospital rules. You have to have a starter IV in case anything happens. But when that girl was born, literally when she was born, they were like all excited. The midwife is like holding her up and you know, in the bill, billable cord and billable cord was hanging straight between her legs. And she's like, yay. And she's like, let's let mommy see first before she actually said what boy or girl. I reached up and I pulled that billable cord off to the side to see if it was a boy or a girl. And I fell back and I was like, thank God <laughs> I can quit. <laughs> no more children because <laughs> I probably would have kept going. I wanted that girl. I need somebody to take care of mama when she's old. You know, we need a girl for that. I, I can't depend on the boy because, you know, I'm always afraid that we'll lose our boys to the other side. Hey, Sarah, I'm through you. Did I not hurt? Yes, I did see that. I did. <laughs> and uh, him, what was his name? I forget what his name was. And him and um, Sam look and sound just alike it was hilarious when they laugh they <laughs> sounded just alike yes i saw that hey cat <laughs> catch you. are we getting more people in yep <laughs> our, our numbers are growing hi millie is it millie milla am i saying it right hi kitty cat sales over we're just chit chatting about life in general having kids making things how many kids we got it was um sarah lee sarah lee did you tell me joanne says noah the noah yeah noah was his name uh sarah lee did you tell me you had um was it five kids how many did you have well where are you sarah lee come come meet us i will take you shopping it's really awesome how I end up meeting these girls that are living around here. It was all because of Martha. Martha's probably already gone. But um, do you want me back on, Dave? You didn't get back on. Um, uh, Martha started it. We were we were in a chat, and Martha was asking where people lived, and um, and we said Houston, Houston. She goes, and and at the time, Round Top was starting, was fixing a start. And she's uh, she wanted to do a get together. And she was telling me, you know, I was like, I was telling her, look, what do you want to know about Round Top? We go all the time, several times while it was open for the two weeks or three weeks that it's open. And um, we go like five times when Sarah it's there. Oh, she's in Seattle. Well, come down here and meet us, girl. <laughs> I will get you um, hook you up with. Beth and Martha and Tippy Winks vintage. Uh, you know, Tippy Winks, she's always in all the chats. That's Christy. Um, that's that's the ones that I know that live really close. Um, Christy's not a reseller. She's just in all the chats. And um, But Martha is and Beth is. But um, Martha was like Christy trying to love get... love supporting everyone. Yeah, she's Christy's very a very big supporter of everyone, helping everybody. Oh, there's my daughter-in-law. Oh, were you there, Ashley, for my whole live sale? Did you buy anything, Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> you have met five people in North Carolina. 
that are on YouTube, you just ran into them or did y'all do a meetup? Yes. Uh, Tippy Winks is in all the lifestyles. She lives near me. But uh, Martha was setting up a, trying to get a meetup done. And I told her, look, I'll tell y'all where to park in Round Top, where to go and the best field to go to. You know, because there's it's, it's like three towns, which is all on the same little highway. They did a meetup. That's cool, Joanne. Oh, that's cool. And you got to meet them? Come meet me, Joanne. I want to meet you. No. Actually, I want to go to you where you're at. I want to go shop your booths. I'll go to North Carolina. Yeah. Tammy and I made, we've been through North Carolina, but we stopped in Bat Cave, North Carolina. <laughs> on our way to uh, Myrtle Beach. Um, actually, Christina's the one I had my live sales with on Friday. Uh, but anyways, Martha, um, was put setting up this uh, meetup and it ended up only being three of us because um chrissy didn't join us that time because of uh her mother having shoulder shoulder surgery so chrissy didn't get to meet up with us it was just three of us right david it was just us three mm -hmm. that met up and um and of course i think we'd already been through round top once when i met up with them to <laughs> go to round top again uh and then a few a couple of months later we went to a little antique store in spring near us and all four of us met up with christy christy oh my god she is just the same person when you see her on her videos just so oh you know <laughs> i can't be as hyper and happy as she <laughs> she's the same way in person <laughs> she's hilarious Okay, you met um, that she was here for the first time in our um, cell that I know of. That was the first time tonight that I seen her, uh, Joanne. Oh, in my booth today. Oh, you met her in your booth today. That's neat. Hey, I got in at Round Top. I got my. I, I put that in one of my videos. I got a uh, notice. What was that? Last September when we went somebody stopped me and asked me hey are you on youtube and i was like mm. was this past spring show was it this past spring show mm -hmm. i was like am i supposed to say yes i'm not sure <laughs> she recognized me that was my first recognition in the public so that was pretty cool we took a picture together i posted it on my instagram and she's in my video or a picture of her is in my video I wasn't videoing at the time we met. Um, hey, if we, if we, Joanne, if we ever head that way, I will be calling you. I'm reading the chat. Pat Doodles. I'm, she's actually, I think this cell is the first time I've seen her. So that was cool that she, a new person came in. I hope she subscribed. She probably did because I'm, David said I'm not very far away from 600. It is hard getting to a thousand, y'all. I don't know what I need to do to get more people to come see me. You need to eat your Wheaties. I need to eat my Wheaties. You dream about going to Round Top? Hey, it's, it's coming. The, it's two times a year. You want to come? I will take you around. I'll show you the best places. And I'll, I'll try to beat you to all the good deals. <laughs> Not really. Me and Martha go shopping all the time together. And we do quite well together. Hi, Nancy. This overstuffed house. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm trying to... Um, Maybe expanding to doing live sales on YouTube. I mean, um, YouTube. I'm already doing that. Um, Facebook. I have um, like over 2,000 people following me on Facebook. I have, oh, I don't even remember, over 1,000 on Instagram. If I could get all those to follow me on YouTube. Um, and then um, an IG. I thought about selling on IG. 
because all the IG people are switching over to YouTube. So some of us YouTubers need to switch over to IG and try it out. <laughs> How are you doing, Nancy? Oh, that that's just a semi. That's this much of my collection of Raggedy Ann and Andy. My, I started, it's not in here. It started because my grandmother, which the picture is on my Instagram account. If you scroll down, you'll see a picture of me and my grandma, who is 101. She made that, uh, made me a Raggedy a Andy. My sister got Raggedy Ann. I got Andy. She made that for us back when I was, I think, four or five. I can't remember exactly. Um, and I still have that doll. So when I finally got my girl, I thought, this doll is the theme of my decor for my daughter's bedroom. So I then I started decorating, you know, collecting Raggedy Ann and Andy. So, uh, and then it just didn't stop when I when she wanted when she grew up and wanted out of Raggedy Ann and Andy. Go give me the picture on the wall, David, <coughs> of um, her and her Raggedy Ann outfit. Um, when I just kept collecting them because when I see one, I can't leave it behind. You know, um, so I have a, a slew of stuff over in my shop. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. They won't all fit right here. But I did find some really cool items. This I did have when I was a little girl. I don't, it's not my original lunchbox, but um, it's, I love it. I love it. You know what I really hate that y'all can't talk back to me? I hate that this part. But look, find Waldo, okay? Let me turn off the light. Y'all see her? One year for Halloween, I set her, I, I took the clothes off of one of the dolls and put my daughter in it and I made her a wig. And that was, that is just part of my collection of my Raggedy Ann's and Andy. And the one that my grandmother made me is in there somewhere. But do you see my daughter? Zoom in more. There she is. I dressed her up for Halloween as a Raggedy Ann doll. <laughs> Ain't that cute? <laughs> it was fine wall though. <laughs> I said I was going to show that one day. I need to post that on my Instagram account. I'm going to slowly do little collections. One day I'm going to pull out all my Raggedy Ann stuff. But the problem is some of my dolls that I've collected, some of those dolls that were in that picture are at my mother's house. I had stored them in her attic because I didn't have room. Or not in her attic. She, I put them in one of her bedroom closets because she took them down. Um, what? Watch what you hit, David. Uh, he's pointing at something and going hit my screen and it's a touch screen. I don't know if she was feeling that. Oh, Nancy, you don't feel well? I'm sorry. But that's, but uh, she won first place in that um, Raggedy Ann uh, get up. That, those were the clothes off of the actual Raggedy Ann doll. She fit in them at the time. So I says, got to do it this year. Next year she won't fit. You made little Raggedy Ann quilts for your daughter. Raggedy Ann. I want to see that quilt, Sarah Lee. Post that on in your Instagram. I want to see that. Tag me in it so I don't miss it. I love seeing things that are made. My Pinterest board is, I, I got tons of pins on my Pinterest board. I'm like, I see that. I can do that. I can do that. Stuff I want to do. Yes, they are hard to date. Uh, I, I Like you said, they're hard to date. The oldest one I have that I know of for sure is the one my grandma made me when I was four years old in um, 77, so two, so three, probably um, early 70s, 73, 74. She made it. So um, 
I, I don't know. That's the oldest one I know of anyways. I mean, these things are, a lot of these things are in the 70s. This painting is a very sweet painting. Um, you can see that. I found it Goodwill. It's so, I could not let it go. I, I think it was like $8 too, but it was a nice frame, a nice white frame. Um, I just, I couldn't pass that up. Um, I just bought this in a live sale. I don't need more Raggedy Ann and Andy, but I just, I, I can't help myself sometimes. It's so cute. But it is, this is a metal, like those little Tonka trucks or whatever, the old metal. It's a metal, I've never seen one of those. And when I saw that, I was like, I got to get it. I, ha I have to buy I found that in Florida when I met uh, George. Oh, find me on Pinterest, five Pinterest boards. You have five Pinterest boards? Oh, girl, you could swim forever in my Pinterest board. I think I'm, I'm Vintage Uprising Texas as well on Pinterest. Um, let me read. Read it. Help me read the chat, Dave. Hey. I'm talking and forgetting to read over. Oh, you had it. Tammy, you had a big collection. Well, my, yeah, I'll have to pull out what I have, Joanne. A sneak peek of my dolls. Um, I don't, I don't know that I have very many here. Like I said, my mom lives in Victoria. Uh, she's two hours away and she really don't talk to me. So I don't know when I'm going to get my dolls back. <laughs> um, Joanne says she has a bunch of Chanel bears. Ooh, nice. Nice. I have um I've, I have a lot of Chanel um quilt uh, covers uh, bedspreads. A lot of them are messed up that I plan to make pillows out of and bears. I make bears, memorabilia bears, um, out of uh, people's clothes. And one of those are on my Instagram. My favorite is from my grandmother's clothes. And I had I had already made my aunts and stuff quilts and stuff, and. So I had all the scraps. I was saving every little piece that I had because, you know, that's all I have. Left. My other grandmother. I had a grandma. My mom's mother passed away in 94. I still have a grandmother who is 101. My dad's mom. Um, but uh, I saved every piece of cra uh, scrap. So I figured out how to do the little scraps. You get a white square of fabric and you sew these scraps on to the square and make bigger actual pieces of uh, bigger fabric to do something with to make crazy quilts or something like that well I made the best bear and I love that bear but I gave it to my mom and then she didn't even tell me that she received it or not you know but uh I love that bear uh go look on my Instagram and find it my granddaughter's holding it you'll see she, it's this big where she's holding it it's from her head to her waist it's a big bear I gotta still make me one um let me see where Terry, you did your daughter's room in Raggedy Ann and Andy too. I want to do a haul of all my Raggedy Ann stuff when I pull it out because I have some over in my sewing room next door. Um, okay. Yeah, so I, I want to do a whole haul, not just of my dolls, of everything that I have. I will do that, Joanne, someday. <laughs> someday. Yeah, Terry, Terry, that's where we met George was at Mount Dora. I'm reading the chat. I'm sorry. This is this is the part I hate, you know, trying to talk to y'all and, and stop it and reading the chat because this is what he's supposed to be doing for me and tell me what's going on. But I can't interrupt you. Yes, you can. I try to be creative. And I'm I'm very good about trying to figure out how stuff is done and so I can do it myself. Uh, 
I have bare quilts and tablecloths and stitch line. Well, Joanne, do you sew too? If you do, you need to pin. Joanne, you need to start posting more on your Instagram. I want to see your stuff. I need ideas, y'all. Like, like I said, I always try to make something for the grandkids and the, my my sister's uh, grandkids because she's in Canada and I'm here with her kids. Uh, I always try to make them something every year for Christmas, and I got to get on it for this year. Actually, last year, for, of course, last year for Christmas, I didn't see anybody. We we're all quarantined. I wish I had one of the bears in here. I'd show you. Oh, Joanne, you have an Instagram account. And you don't know how to put a. Let me show you right now. Okay. I'm going to my Instagram account. Come on. I'm pushing buttons. Okay. You go to your home page. No. Okay. Right here. This is your home page. Th there's home right there. And down here. Oh, this last button. It says your logo. I can't do this backwards. You click on it. That last button. You click on it. And there's your, um, your page. As people see it when they click on you. Then on the top. There is a plus button. You see, I can't get it right. See the plus button there? You click that. And then your photo, you can post. You can post on your page or you can make a story. See when this is, when this is highlighted, that means there's a story on, on their, um, on their profile. So here's where you post all the pictures that you see. When people tag your name these stories only last 24 hours so you click on this and then it brings up all your photos to choose from see i have a live sale tonight y'all <laughs> so you can pick you know and you just click on it see this one's already ready it's the first my last picture that i had and i just push next and you push next and then it shows up. It gives you the option. Look, I push next. And then it, did I push next? I push next and this window comes up. And it gives you the option to make it, you know, to change the color of your, put a filter on or whatever. And if you don't want to do any of that, you hit next again. And here, there you go. You put in little tags. Uh, you say something about your picture that you know i made this from grandma's clothes or you know i have a live sale tonight whatever you know whatever the writing is underneath the picture you type that in and then you can tag you can tag people um and then hashtags if you're trying to get noticed really you hashtag which is the pound sign and like when i do a live sale i push um hashtag live sales hashtag vintage sales, hashtag YouTube, you know, you push hashtag, hashtag to whatever your picture is related to. Okay. And then right there, you click share. Hey, you can't mess up. Just, just start punching buttons until you figure it out. <laughs> so, and I've canceled it. It's easy as pie. I think pie is harder to make, honestly. Yes, I'm still here. We're chatting. I'm going to have live sales and chit chat with Tam Tam. Live sales and chit chat with Tam Tam. Always, I guess. <laughs> David's looking at me like. <laughs> Tam Tam, what are you saying? <clears throat> uh, your internet phones went down. Why? What you do, girl? No, there is a cute channel called Nana and the oh, where'd that go? I'm reading. I don't know if I'm saying your name, Mil, Mila, Molly, Molly, Mala, Ma, Mila. There is a cute channel. Ooh, I have to go look at that. I love seeing people that make stuff. 
I'm going to look at that one. Nanny and the Moose. Nanny and the Moose. I would have to remember that one. Okay, Joanne, are you with me? Did you figure that out? You see that with the how to put pictures on your Instagram? Now I want to see pictures, girl. I showed you how. I want to see your pictures. I'm reading. I'm reading. Found it and subscribe. <laughs> You're gonna try and practice. It's easy as pie, Miss Joanne. Anybody can do it. <laughs> That's what my grandkids. Actually, it wasn't my grandkid. My sister always called me. She used to call me Tom. Tom. She used to always call me Tom for whatever reason. And it was my cousin's baby that started Tam Tam. She, he's older than all of my uh, grandkids, of course, uh, younger than my children. But I was babysitting my cousin's um, child and they started the Tam Tam. Uh, my sister always called me Tom Tom. She always calls Cam Cam, my son Cam Cam, Lan Lan. She always did that little. So that's how that started. I think my sister actually started it. But um, my little cousin, my second cousin started, you know, babysitting. He started calling me Tam Tam. So when I started, I thought that's going to be my grandma name. When I had my first uh, grandchild, we're going to stick with Tam Tam. I wanted something different. I like different. Although Tammy's not that much different, but but Tam Tam, but Tam Tam as a grandma's name is different. Oh, I'm gonna have to check them out. Way to bounce and close the Okay, Calypso and um, Gina. Uh, Gina um, Vintage Digs. They're having a sale tonight. <laughs> if who needs a wedding dress? Who's getting married, Joanne? Who are you talking about? Jo Joanne has like 14 wedding dresses. She showed me a picture. How did you send me that picture, Joanne, if you don't know how to post? I don't remember how I got that picture. But she had a slew of wedding dresses. I was like, please tell me you ain't been married that many times. Because <laughs> you outdid me if you did. Isn't it seven that's the legal limit? Then you just got to live with them and kick them out and live with the next one. <laughs> that's funny. My question was Pinterest. Under twenty dollars, Christina, what you gonna do with the wedding dress? Cut them up and make pillows. That's what you could do. That's the only thing about wedding dresses: paying all that money to wear one time. See, I'm very frugal. I I can't spend that much money on a dress. I would love to wear one, and I did my first wedding. I did, but I rented it. <laughs> So I don't have it to hand it. And my daughter, especially, thank God I didn't save one because she certainly wouldn't have wore my wedding dress. She's more higher class than me, should I say. <laughs> I'm a thrifter. She likes shopping. Real shopping. Oh, email. That's right. You emailed it to me. What a nanny moose. She needs more wedding dresses. I need to go check out nanny moose. Some people. Do. Mm, very interesting. Some people make a uh, make um, Christmas gowns out of wedding dresses. Very good. Now I've heard of them taking the wedding dresses and cutting them off and making, you know, um, Dresses, you know, short dresses out of them. That's how long I'm going to start. Oh. Them. See, I don't need dinner now. I've had drink. I had a drink. 
<laughs> Cook us food, Dave. Anybody want to join us for dinner? Late night dinner? <laughs> We went up to four, uh, 20 people and then we're down to 14. Y'all love me. Who are the 14 people in here that love me? Y'all are still here. I can't believe I have a, uh, I wish, you know, I need to send y'all links so y'all can pop in. That's what we're going to do, Christina. We're going to add somebody. Yeah. He's, David only makes pasta, spaghetti, usually spaghetti, and maybe yes. some grilled chicken. <laughs> Our grilled chicken. 15 people are in here. Here are my 15 people. Y'all like me. I can't believe I'm having any good conversation. <laughs> For christening gown? That's a good idea. But I'm not that kind of sewer. I don't know how to sew like that. Christina's here. Christina, we need to find a guest to pop in and, and be our voice. Like um, anybody that ever, Joanne, if you ever want to pop in on our Friday night chat after our sale, because we, we chat afterwards. I like a, we'll have a, a guest come in with this. Anybody ever interested in joining us? Email me and let me know. We'll take turns adding a person. That would be fun. I like having these chats so we get to know y'all. Y'all get to know me. It might not be a good idea though. Y'all might not like me afterwards. See? You said 15 a while ago. Now we're down to 11. They're like, yeah. Yeah, that girl. <laughs> Chinese food. Sarah Lee, you had Chinese food tonight? They do like making Chinese food. My daughter and my husband do like making that too. I want to go on strike and not eat for a while. I need to lose weight. Oh, are y'all ready to go? Do y'all want to go see somebody else? <laughs> are y'all tired of me? Somebody else just popped in. Who's number 12? So, yes, yeah, seriously, y'all follow me. Y'all go look at my Tam Tams. Tam Tams with an S underscore cre creations. And go look at the stuff I do. I love making stuff out of nothing. For my kids' birthday parties, my grandkids. Um, I didn't know this stuff back then. Uh, I take big cardboard boxes, whatever. The, I, I try to do all my decorations for my kids' parties out of nothing. So I save my huge cardboard boxes. Sometimes I have to go find them and make stuff and paint them like a, a princess party we had and I made a big um, a Cinderella carriage. And then one of my granddaughters had a dinosaur party. So we used that carriage again in her party and put some dinosaur heads out. I made a huge dinosaur for my grandson who was painted green. And then the granddaughter that had a dinosaur party, I made, um, I painted it pink same, with that gr same one, all made out of cardboard. I made little, um, little miniature dinos dinosaurs for um adopt a dinosaur um an owl party for my first granddaughter an owl party kind of like and i made a bunch of little owls that little stuffy owls just a little bit of nothing um but i had them all in a basket and it said adopted you know adopt an owl or who's i don't know i had a little cute saying for it i don't remember what it was but um we haven't really been having much parties lately. The last granddaughter had a um, uh, what was that party we had? Starbur um, Rainbow Bright. That's the name I'm thinking of. A Rainbow Bright party. That was hard to make anything, but I had a vintage Rainbow Bright sheet that I made as a backdrop, and we did pictures behind it. Um, I don't know that I really made anything other, you know, for that, because what can you make for Rainbow Bright? <laughs> well, Christina, you love me. Oh, you are just now opening back up in Seattle? Good night, Joanne. Okay. 
I'm going to let y'all all go. Hey, uh, Sonia Mills. Sonia, did you get my invoice? I sent you a, what is the name on me? It's David. I'm sorry. My, all my invoices come in um, D. Rosas, which is my husband's account. My last name's Rosas. And that's why I put in the comments, Tammy, Vintage Uprising, Texas. Um, I need to fix, when I started this, my, my account was messed up for some reason. So I just started using David's from the get-go. But yes, uh, it's David Rosas. It'd probably say D Rosas underscore 71. I guess it is. I don't know. But um, yeah, it. Uh, but I did send you that. It's me. And if you look in the comments below, it says my name and Vintage Uprising, Texas. Thank you for shopping with Vintage Uprising, Texas, <laughs> it says. So that's why I put that in the bottom in the comments so people know that it's me. Because they don't say my Vintage Uprising, Texas name. David, Sarah Lee thinks we're an adorable couple. We are. We are. We are, we are. I make us adorable, not him. You'll probably like him more than I me. I make us more adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that big. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. I saw a Sonia M in one of my other chats the other day, and I thought it was you. She goes, that's not me. I thought, okay, it was it was another Sonia M. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Well, I, I know you showed up late, but you can go watch the replay and see what go towards the end and see what didn't sell if you're interested in anything. And if you are interested in anything before you pay your invoice, then I can add it to your box and redo it for you. I'm so sweet. I mean, y'all are so sweet. I knew people would like David more than me. Because he's a turd. He's a turd. <laughs> oh, you know the other Sonya M? <laughs> yeah, I felt stupid. Sonya, I sent you an email. Did you get it? She's like, no, that's not me. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I do remember Mills being on there because I would have wrote Sonya M and not Sonya Mills. <laughs> So, okay, you guys, I'm going to let y'all go. This drink is making me sleepy. I don't know if I'm going to eat now. <laughs> Was there an Astros game tonight? We've got to watch a whole Astros game now. <laughs> we love our Astros. Book me with you're late. You're so late. <laughs> oh. She likes me better than you. Yay. <laughs> One point for me. One point for me. Maybe two points. Christina says she loves me. <laughs> One point or one point. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Uh, Book Bewitch. <laughs> well, you can go to scroll to the end and see what's left and see if you're interested in anything. There are some items left. And I always post, um, be sure you're following me on Instagram, y'all. I always post what's left from my sales on Instagram for anybody that's interested as well. Yeah, you're late. Where you been, girl? Who you been watching? I did. I was very late on posting this on um, my YouTube. I totally forgot about Wednesday's sale. I posted Thursday sale, but I didn't post my Wednesday sale. Oh, my God. You know, well, I've been posting it, but it wasn't on YouTube. Usually, you can see it ahead of time that, hey, schedule, click click the mm -hmm. notification bell when it goes up. So, but, yeah, you can check it out on, um, go scroll to the end. Sarah Lee, I'm, I'm interested in um, joining up with you on Instagram. I want to see the stuff you make. I love seeing homemade stuff. I need ideas. I'm always trying to make stuff. So, but sorry, Sonia and Book Bewitch that you're late. But we've been here a while. We've been here since 6.30 Central Time. And it's now 10 o'clock Central Time. <laughs> we chit chat. We're going to start calling this the Wednesday sale and chit chat afterwards. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to schedule that for my next one. Wednesday live sale and chit chat. Because we always go a little while. 
So I don't want y'all to miss other sales either, though. So, hey, again, you two that came in late, we're having a sale on my channel tomorrow at 6 o'clock, red, white, and blue. This is one of the things that will be there. I made it red, white, and blue. It's got lace, little lace. I made it as vintage fabric and vintage lace. Oh, and this is the back side. This will be there tomorrow. Red, white, and blue sale. Some 4th of July stuff, some just red, white, and blue. So, so we'll see y'all soon. And again, thanks for coming. Thanks for staying. Thanks for chatting with me. I like it so much more when I, I can hear y'all's voices and talk back to me. Used to make stuff. Aw. Aw, Sarah Lee. Well, share. Share. Share everything with me, Shirley. I want to get to know you more. Thank you, Sonia. We'll see you tomorrow. Actually, we're on tomorrow and Friday. <laughs> so watch my, um, they're over there talking. I'm sure you can hear them. So join me on Instagram so y'all can see all my posts. And my, my people are getting loud now. <laughs> so I will see y'all tomorrow, hopefully. Y'all come see me. Sarah Lee, I will talk to you later. I will chit-chat with you on Instagram as well. Okay? Y'all come back and see me now. You hear?